I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs a hundred thousand times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a horse, translate, and we got train. For this one, I think I'm going to make Choo Choo Charles. Let's remove all this stuff, and then we'll add a back part like this. Now let's color these pieces in, and we'll add the circular parts on the front. Now let's add his face, and we'll give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add some detail on the side, and we'll give him some legs like this, and now let's add them on the other side. Next, let's add his wheels, and finally we'll add a few details on the top. And I think we're done, let's see it in game. I'm not gonna lie, I expected him to be a lot bigger. I wonder what baby Choo Choo Charles looks like. He's kinda fast actually. I was just hoping he was bigger, this is kinda disappointing. Let's ride a Choo Choo Charles. Okay, I think there's a problem, it looks like I'm flying. He's actually kinda fast though, so this is cool. Let's spawn an army of Choo Choo Charleses. Now let's stack them. Never mind, it won't let me stack them, they keep kicking each other off. I wonder if they'll fight each other. Nope, it appears Choo Choo Charles doesn't fight. Choo Choo Charles in Minecraft is kinda boring. Alright, I'm going to give Choo Choo Charles a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really small. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got buff green. For this one, let's make the Hulk. Let's remove this stuff, and we'll make him a little bit taller. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully green. Next, let's give him some purple shorts, and we'll make them look ripped on the bottom. Next, let's give him some neck muscles, and we'll add his green hair. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll give him some eyes, and a nose. Now finally, let's add a little more detail. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he is really big. Our first mob was too small and now this one's too big. Okay, he walks really weird too. What is this? Also, his legs are missing texture, but I'm not fixing that. Let's go find Hulk in the deep dark. Okay, his head is kind of going everywhere. That kind of looked weird, I won't lie. Now let's see if the Hulk can beat a gorilla. Okay, he literally one-shot him. What about 10 gorillas versus the Hulk? Okay, some of the big ones just aren't fighting. Yeah, that was still too easy for the Hulk. I guess I'm gonna have to step in. That did a lot of damage. How did that not kill me? Okay, the Hulk is too powerful. Alright, I'm going to give the Hulk a 7 out of 10. His animations are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got squid. For this one, I think I'll make Squidward. Let's make his legs smaller, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's color him fully blue, and we'll give him a head. Now let's add his smile, and we'll rotate his nose. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his shirt. Now let's add some details to his shirt, and we'll give him some tentacles on his hand. Now let's add his tentacles on his legs. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. What are these things? I wonder if Squidward can kill them. Okay, this is the weirdest fight I've ever seen. Who will win? Like for Squidward and subscribe for the dinosaur Bruh. things. Okay, Squidward died. That means you have to subscribe. We never even really looked at Squidward, but I think he looks good. I'm not sure why the gray thing is attached to his nose, though. That looks better. His legs look kind of weird when he walks, but I guess that's fine. Let's spawn an army of Squidwards. Why do they always aim their bow at me in creative mode? It's time for the Squidward army to get revenge on the dinosaur thing. Okay, what is the dinosaur doing? Now all the Squidwards are just shooting each other. Okay, at least none of them died in a 30v1. Alright, I'm going to give Squidward a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate. And we got Tall Duck. For this one, I think I'll make Daffy Duck. Let's rearrange his body parts, and we'll make his body a little bit round. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head. Next, let's give him a beak, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll add some eyelids above that. Now let's add this white part on his neck, and we'll rotate his left arm like this. And now we'll rotate his right arm like this. Next, let's color in his feet. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, his arms are completely messed up. I'm not even going to try to fix that. I don't know what's going on. Let's spawn a baby Daffy Duck. Not much better, honestly. He looks good if you ignore the arms, though, I guess. Let's spawn an army of Daffy Ducks. I don't understand how their hand ended up all the way over here. Wait, are these buffaloes? Nope, they're bisons. Let's see if a Daffy Duck jockey can beat a bison. I don't know if the bison fights back. I love how the baby is just following them around. Wait, they killed the bison. Honestly, I didn't think the Daffy Duck jockey would win. What is he still shooting at? Alright, I'm going to give Daffy Duck a 6 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translating, and we got Will. For this one, I'm going to make Killy Willy. Let's make his legs bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's add the red thing on his chest, and we'll give it some teeth. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll give him a mouth. Now let's add some teeth to his mouth, and we'll give him an eye in the middle. And now let's add some eyes on the outside. Next, we'll give him some hands, and finally, let's give him some feet. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in-game. He actually looks pretty good. 
Of course I put both feet on the same side. I think I'm gonna turn off these particles, they look kinda weird. Okay, that makes them look a lot better. Let's see a Killy Willy riding another Killy Willy. This is perfectly normal. Let's spawn an army of Killy Willies. Okay, that's a lot of them. Alright, I'm going to give Killy Willy an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Iron Golem. What will we get? And we got Chief. For this one, I think I'm going to make Master Chief. Let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color his body green. Next, let's give him his mask, and we'll color the outside green. Now let's add the yellow part on the inside, and we'll add some gray details to his mask. Next, let's put more details on his legs, and we'll also add some to his arms. Now let's give him some feet, and let's add some texture. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I think this is the first time today there's been no problems. Okay, never mind, I messed up his shoulder. Let's spawn an army of Master Chiefs. Oh god, that was almost bad. Now let's see if the Master Chief army can beat a Squidward army. Okay, I kind of already knew they could, I just wanted to see it happen. What about the Master Chief army versus a Hulk army? I only spawned a few Hulks to give them a chance. Okay, maybe I spawned too many Hulks, it's not looking good. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of the Hulks even died. Alright, I'm going to give Master Chief a 9 out of 10, he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got Lion. For this one, I'll make Simba from the Lion King. Let's change the shape of his legs, and we'll color his body orange. I think we should remove his udders. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll start giving him some hair, and we'll extend his hair down a little bit like this. Next, let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now, let's give him some eyes, and some eyebrows, and we'll also draw his mouth. Now, let's give him some whiskers, and we'll add his feet. Now, finally, let's give him a tail. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Kinda weird how his head follows me, though. Somehow I managed to make the cow look intimidating. Let's see a baby Simba. I don't know if he's supposed to have all this hair as a baby, but I think it's fine. Let's see if Simba can beat an actual lion. Never mind, there aren't any lions in this mod. I guess a tiger will do. Okay, that was fast. Yo, he's emoting on him. If I was Simba, I wouldn't take that personally. Let's spawn an army of Simbas. And now let's stack them on top of each other. This is definitely interesting. I wonder why you can't find this in vanilla Minecraft. Alright, I'm going to give Simba a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating. And we got blocks. For this one, let's make a Roblox character. Let's make his arm bigger, and we'll color his legs in green. Now let's color his arms yellow, and we'll color his shirt blue. Next, let's make his head yellow, and we'll make his head a little bit round. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's bend his arms a bit, and we'll do the same for his legs. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, we should probably make it nighttime. I kind of forgot that his arms would be up like this, this looks kind of weird. But other than that, he looks good. I've added many things from Roblox to Minecraft, but surprisingly this is my first time adding the Roblox Steve skin. I wonder what the baby Roblox character looks like. Yeah, his head is way too big, let's delete this. Let's spawn an army of Robloxes. And now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, there's no way Master Chief is winning this. He's killing them so slowly. Roblox is just too OP. Now let's see if they can beat a Rhinoceros. Okay, the Rhino is ready. He's going crazy on this guy. Yo, he's fighting three at the same time. Since when did the Drowns join the fight? Okay, it appears they're stuck. Oh, the Robloxes are turning into Drowns. I was so confused. Okay, this isn't working. They won't leave the water. Alright, I'm going to give the Roblox character a 7 out of 10. I don't really like his arms. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Space Fox. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ratchet. Let's remove his front legs, and we'll move his body to make him stand on two legs. Now let's color his shirt, and we'll also color in his pants. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add his eyes, and some eyebrows. Next, let's give him his hat, and we'll add his arms. Now let's give him some gloves, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Alright, he doesn't look too bad. Never mind, there's something wrong with his head. Okay, what is this? This is worse. Okay, I fixed his head. Yo, he's going crazy on Daffy Duck. I think he's holding that chicken, I honestly can't tell. Let's see if Ratchet can take down a raccoon. Yo, the raccoon is going kinda crazy. Okay, Ratchet won that somehow. Let's spawn a Ratchet army. Okay, they need to stop doing this, what is this? Now let's see if the Ratchet army can beat a raccoon army. Okay, I can only make them fight one single raccoon, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to give Ratchet a 7 out of 10, he was kinda broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate. And we got Toad. For this one, let's make Toad from Mario. 
Let's delete his back legs, and we'll shrink his legs. Now let's make his body smaller, and we'll color his shoes. Now let's color his pants, and let's also color his body, and his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes, and we'll add his hat. Now let's add his blue shirt, and I think I'm gonna change his mouth. Now let's add the circles on his hat, and finally we'll give him some arms. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his legs. Of course something is wrong, when isn't it? Okay, that's fixed enough for me. Other than the foot problem, he actually looks pretty good. Let's see a supercharged toad. The charge actually kind of fits him, it's not bad. Let's see if a supercharged toad can one one shot a crocodile. Okay, I guess it can. Let's spawn an army of toads, and let's see them fight an actual toad. A really weird looking toad. Okay, the toad had no chance, he got one shot. Although all the other toads died too. Alright, I'm going to give Toad a 7 out of 10, he looks okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translating, and we got Talking Dog. For this one, I think I'll make Brian from Family Guy. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him a bit shorter. Now let's color him fully white, and we'll extend out his face. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add his ears. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his red collar. Now let's add the gold dog tag underneath, and we'll give him some fingers, and some feet. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. Not sure why he still has an ear though. That looks a little bit better. Oh yeah, we should go to the nether. Okay, here is Brian in the nether wearing some really big pants. Let's give him some different drip instead. That looks a lot better, now he's ready for battle. Let's spawn an army of Brian's. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the baby Brian. He just looks weird. Now let's see if they can beat the Mothman. Okay, I'm not sure what the Mothman is doing, he's kinda just eating shots. Never mind, he's going crazy now, what is this attack? Wait, he's gonna win this. Okay, he just retreated with 3 left. Alright, I'm going to give Brian an 8 out of 10, he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. What will we get? And we got mouse. For this one, I think I'll make Jerry. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll extend his body up. Now let's color him brown, and we'll give him a new head. Now let's extend out his mouth area, and we'll give him a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him some ears. Next let's draw his whiskers, and we'll color in his belly. Now finally let's give him some arms, and that doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. I have no idea why he's sideways though. Also the way he is walking is kinda weird. Whatever, this is fine I guess. Let's see a baby Jerry. He's not much smaller somehow. Now let's see if Jerry can beat Ratchet. Okay, Jerry had no chance, he died in one second. Maybe he just needs a bodyguard. Okay, what is going on? I guess not even the bodyguards can save him. Let's spawn an army of Jerry's. Okay, Ratchet is still just killing them. I'm just gonna let it happen. Jerry doesn't look that great anyway. Alright, I'm going to give Jerry a 6 out of 10. He looks alright. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got Aardvark. For this one, let's make Arthur. Let's color his shirt yellow, and we'll color his pants blue, and we'll color in his hands. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some ears. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and some nostrils. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll give his shirt a white collar. Now let's give him some red shoes, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. I found the Simba Tower and it's gotten significantly smaller. Anyways, Arthur looks fine. His face looks kinda goofy though. Let's see a baby Arthur. I think he looks better when he's smaller. Let's watch Arthur get chased by Master Chief. Wait, I forgot that Master Chief is the Iron Golem. Let's watch Arthur get chased by the Roblox character. Now Arthur could actually win because Roblox is going to burn. All Arthur has to do is move, which it doesn't look like he's doing. Okay, Arthur just barely got away, only to die to a tiger right after. Let's find an Arthur village. Okay, there's just no Arthurs in this village. I guess I have to spawn some of my own. Okay, maybe that's too many for a village. Alright, I'm going to give Arthur a 7 out of 10. He looks kinda weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating, and we got weekday. For this one, I'm going to make Wednesday Adams. Let's remove her hat, and we'll change the shape of her head. Now let's add her hair, and we'll give her some eyes, and a mouth. Now let's make her arms and legs smaller, and we'll color her shirt brown, and let's also color her pants. Next, let's add her braids, and we'll give her a white collar. Now let's add her hands, and we'll add the white spot on her dress. Now finally, let's give her some shoes, and I think we're done, let's see her in game. Okay, I think there's something wrong with her arms, and also her feet. Okay, that's much better. I had to give her different arms, but they honestly look better. Let's see if Wednesday can beat a whatever this thing is. Okay, it doesn't look like they're able to fight because of this house. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, this doesn't look fair for the flying worm. I don't even think the flying thing was able to attack. Let's try Wednesday versus an elephant. Okay, it looks like she somehow got the elephant stuck. Okay, never mind. 
fine, she died. But how could you expect her to beat this giant elephant? Let's spawn an army of Wednesdays. Now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, I don't think they want to fight. Let's fix that. Okay, now Master Chief is taking a lot of damage. And the Wednesdays won that one easily. Alright, I'm going to give Wednesday an 8 out of 10. She looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither. What will we get? And we just got X. For this one, let's make alphabet lore letter X. Let's delete everything except one of the heads. And we'll shrink it down like this. Now let's color it white. And we'll rotate it in the shape of an X. Next, let's add these purple things on the top, and we'll give him some eyebrows, and some eyes, and we'll also add his mouth. Now finally, let's add the purple things in the back, and we'll give him some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, he still has the wither shape around him, but other than that, he looks pretty good. Okay, now he's just attacking these ratchets for no reason. Let's change that, let's see if he can beat the void worm. Okay, I have no idea what's going on right now. This is kind of like a Pokemon battle. I'm not sure if the void worm does anything though. Wait, never mind, what is he doing? Okay, there's more void worms now, what is going on? I don't think X has any chance of beating this, the void worm is too powerful. Yeah, X is getting destroyed. I guess the void worm is the most powerful mob. It even makes these cool portals. Now let's see if the void worm can beat the Hulk. I don't even think the Hulk has a chance because the void worm is flying. Never mind, Hulk did a decent amount of damage. Okay, the Hulk is kind of stuck now. Okay, now there's actually more than one Hulk. What happened? They actually killed the void worm. But to be fair, it took four Hulks to do it. Alright, I'm going to give X a 9 out of 10. He looked really good. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate... And we got Snail. For this one, I'm going to make Gary from Spongebob. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll color this blue. Now let's make his body a little bit wavy, and we'll add his eyes. Next, let's give him his shell, and we'll color the bottom of him a different color. Now let's color his shell, and we'll add these blue spots on it. Now let's draw his eyes, and we'll rotate his eyes sideways. Alright, that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Oh yeah, he goes in the stone. I think he actually turned out really good. I like how he keeps waddling back and forth. Okay, we need to get away from the stone. Let's spawn a baby Gary. Oh yeah, that's not possible. Why are they all running away from me? Let's spawn an army of Garys. And now let's see if I can beat the Gary army in a fight. Oh god, they're all surrounding me. Gary is pretty fast for a snail. Also, his hitbox is really messed up. How am I not hitting them? Wait, they're actually doing damage to me. Who knew Gary was so violent? Alright, I'm going to give Gary a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Box. For this one, I think I'll make Boxy Boo. Let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head. Now let's add the top part, and we'll color his mouth. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's draw the star on his body, and we'll give him some hands. Now let's add his legs and his arms, and we'll add these openings on the side. Now finally, let's add the lid. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arm. Wait, leave the sheep alone, what did he do? Okay, that still didn't fix his arm. Alright, that's pretty much fixed, we'll just ignore when he gets angry. Boxy Boo really hates these chickens. Let's find Boxy Boo in the deep dark. Wait, he's emerging through the wool, how is that possible? I'm actually surprised with how he turned out, he looks really good. He's definitely scarier than the actual warden. Let's spawn an army of Boxy Boos. Who will win, Gary or this army of Boxy Boos? Wait, Gary actually escaped. Now let's see if the army can kill me. Wait, this is kinda scary. Oh no, I hit a dead end. Alright, I'm going to give Boxy Boo an 8 out of 10. He looked really good, but his arm is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Peach. For this one, I'm going to make Princess Peach. Let's extend her dress down, and we'll color it pink. Now let's color her head, and we'll give her a mouth, and some eyes. Now let's add her hair, and I'm actually going to change her eyes a bit. Now let's add her crown, and we'll add this thing on her chest. Now let's give her some gloves, and we'll add these red parts on her dress. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with her arms. But other than that, I think she looks good. It almost looks like her arms are backwards, this is so weird. Princess Peach, stop aiming the bow at me, I'm not Bowser. Let's spawn a baby Princess Peach. I literally try this every time, why? Let's spawn a Princess Peach army, and now let's see if they can kill Boxy Boo. They don't seem to be fighting him yet. Boxy Boo is literally just killing them for free. What about the Princess Peach army versus an Iron Golem? Okay, now they're fighting. They're actually going to kill the Iron Golem. Rip Iron Golem. And Boxy Boo is still just killing them. Alright, I'm going to give Princess Peach an 8 out of 10. She looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got P. For this one, I think I'm going to make P from Alphabet Lore. Let's remove the entire body except for a leg. 
and we'll color it pink. Now let's extend out the top part of the P and we'll make it a bit round. Next let's outline it fully black and we'll draw her mouth and next we'll draw her eyes and let's add a little bit of shading in the eyes and we'll add some eyelashes. Now let's outline her body in a lighter pink and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh yeah, I think it has to be nighttime. I love how the fire is so tall. It looks so funny. Okay, that is better. Well, I don't know about better. The way she walks looks really weird. But what can you expect? She's literally just a leg. Let's spawn a baby pee. I wonder how the baby will walk. Oh my god, that is so weird. This is way too cursed. I'm not spawning any more babies. Let's spawn an army of peas. Okay, I accidentally spawned more babies. Now let's see if the pea army can beat an iron golem. This looks so funny. The iron golem is being beat up by a bunch of peas. The iron golem literally had no chance. No iron golems were harmed in the making of this video. Alright, I'm going to give P a 9 out of 10. She was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translating. And we got Stitch. For this one, we have to make Stitch. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll extend out his body. Now let's color him fully blue, and we'll make his head a bit circular. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll draw his eyes. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll give him teeth. Now let's add his belly patch, and we'll give him some ears. Next, let's add his arms, and we'll rotate his arms a bit. Now let's give him some legs, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Wait, where is he? Wait, what? How is this happening? Why does he keep popping up and down? I have officially created the most cursed mob, what is happening? Okay, I fixed the issue, but his legs are really separate and I'm not fixing that. Other than all that weird stuff, I think he looks good. Look how high he can jump, that's crazy. Let's see if Stitch can eat a slime. Okay, it doesn't really look like he's eating it. I wonder what Stitch looks like when he's swimming. Okay, he instantly went back to land. This looks so weird, what is happening to his legs? I just noticed that he looks so funny when he's walking. Alright, I'm going to give Stitch a 7 out of 10, he looked good but he was too broke. Broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Olay. What will we get? And we got Halt. For this one, I'm going to make Halt from Roblox stores. Let's remove his body, and we'll extend this down a bit. Now let's color him fully dark blue, and we'll make the bottom of his body a bit ghost-like, and we'll do the same thing on the back in a different color. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll outline his eyes. Now let's add a bunch of different color around his body, and we'll do this a few more times. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, why does he still have an arm? Okay, somehow now he has two arms. Okay, I fixed his arms, they're gone now. I've literally never had that happen before, but other than that, I think he looks really good. Out of all the doors entities I've made, I think this is my best. Let's spawn an army of Halts, and let's watch Halt bring me some diamonds. This is so weird, because usually Halt is against you. Let's see a baby Halt. Oh, I just gave him the spawn egg. I don't think he's going to find any of those to give me. Alright, I'm going to give Halt a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate. And we got Orange Dog. For this one, I'm going to make Jake from Adventure Time. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs skinny. Now let's color him orange, and we'll make his body round. Next, let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his arms, and we'll rotate this part in a bit like this. Now let's make his body a bit rounder. Now finally, we'll give him a tail, and I think that turned out good. Let's see him in game. Okay, why does he have two legs? Go away, Halt. Like, how does this keep happening? I don't get it. Okay, the legs are gone, and this shouldn't happen again. But other than that, he looks really good. Seriously, stop following me, Halt. Let's see a baby Jake. Yo, he's walking so fast. I love how his arms just stay there and don't move at all. Let's spawn an army of Jakes. And let's watch the entire Jake army follow me. Okay, not so many of them are following me. This is so weird. What do they want from me? Alright, I'm going to give Jake an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating. And we got Silver Bird. For this one, I think I'll make Lugia. Let's remove his legs. And we'll make his body a lot smaller. Now let's give him a neck. And we'll add his head. Now let's add the blue parts on his head. And we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his mouth. And we'll draw a blue belly patch. Now let's give him some legs. Next, let's give him a tail. And we'll add his wings. Now finally, let's add the blue parts on his back. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Whoa, he is really big. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. There is one problem with him though, he literally just doesn't move. It makes him look so menacing when he's flying around though. Let's find Lugia in the nether. Oh, there's one literally right there. This is so weird because normally Lugia would be found in the water. I guess this is a special Lugia then. Let's spawn an army of Lugias. It's hard to spawn them because they're so big. Okay, I think there's a few too many Lugias around here. Let's catch a Lugia and a Pokeball. 
I don't think it's working. What about a Master Ball? Nope, still won't work. Alright, I'm going to give Lugia a 7 out of 10. He can't move. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Turtle. For this one, I think I'm going to make a Koopa. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll shrink his legs a bit. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his shell. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll try to shape his head. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his nostrils. Now let's add the white part of his shell, and we'll add his shell. Now let's give him some arms, and some fingers, and we'll make his belly curve out a bit. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks really good. Okay, his head should not be moving like that. Yeah, we'll just ignore his head, because other than that, he looks fine. Let's spawn a baby Koopa. Of course, his head is floating. He's a pig. I've never seen a head float this high before. This is crazy. You know what we have to do. Let's spawn an army of Koopas. This is Mario's worst nightmare right here. Let's ride a Koopa. I've never looked at this in first person before. This looks kind of cool. And out of all the mobs I've made that you can ride, this one doesn't look that bad. Other than the fact that his arms literally just don't move. Oh, and all their necks are broken when they follow me for some reason. Alright, I'm going to give the Koopa an 8 out of 10. His neck is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Iron Golem. Translate, and we got invisible. For this one, I'll make John Cena because you can't see him. Let's make this bigger, and we'll color his body. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll shape his head a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a nose, and some ears. Next, let's give him a hat, and we'll give him some blue shorts. Now let's color his legs, and we'll color his arms. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Guys, I actually think he looks really good. Alright, it was a joke because he's invisible, but I actually think he turned out pretty good. He's a little short though. Okay, his neck is not supposed to move like that. Let's see if John Cena can beat an army of peas. Well, it shouldn't be hard because they're all on fire, but he's actually losing pretty hard still. Okay, somehow he lost to the burning peas. Maybe it's because they could see him. Now John Cena should be able to win this easily. Okay, I can't tell if John Cena is winning or not. Oh, there's Iron. I think he's still lost. I guess John Cena isn't a wrestling champion in Minecraft. Alright, I'm going to give John Cena a 7 out of 10. He was okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vex. Translating, and we got 60. For this one, let's make a 60. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll flatten him into a big rectangle. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll add another plane to finish this. Now let's erase all this stuff, and we'll draw the outline of his eyes. And now let's color his eyes white, and we'll outline them in orange. Next, let's add his teeth, and now we'll add a red part around his mouth, and we'll just erase a little bit of it like this. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, he's sinking in the ground. I love how he's just holding a sword in his mouth. Honestly, this looks so weird in Minecraft. Let's spawn an army of A60s. Okay, why did I do this? This might actually look scary in the nighttime. I'm not going to lie, this would be actually scary if it was in the game. Imagine just being attacked by these guys at night. Let's see the A60 army fight John Cena. Wait, John Cena actually killed one of them. I love how he's just staring at them, but he can't actually reach them. Okay, he's just fighting random mobs now. I don't think the A60s are going to die anytime soon. Alright, I'm going to give A60 an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a panda. What will we get? And we got Big Cat. For this one, I think I'll make Big the Cat. Let's add his white mustache, and we'll color him purple. Now let's extend out his ears a lot, and we'll rotate his ears like this. Now we'll extend some parts of his face out like this, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll color his body purple. Now let's add the dark purple stripes on his body, and we'll give him his belt. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Oh my god, he's rolling. Of course, I forgot to color the back of his head. Okay, now his face is just in the wall. Alright, I think he actually looks pretty good, but he keeps rolling. Why is he doing that? Let's spawn a baby Big the Cat. Okay, this is Small the Cat, and he's rolling too. Why do they keep rolling? I wonder what it looks like when I give him bamboo. Okay, now it just looks like he's standing up. Okay, I guess the baby one just doesn't do anything when I feed it. He literally just eats infinite bamboo. Wait, did this one just grow into an adult already? How is this possible? It's been like two minutes. Alright, I'm going to give Big the Cat a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Stew. For this one, I think I'm going to make Stewie. Let's move back his legs, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's make his head into an oval, and we'll color his head. Next, let's color his body red, and we'll add his yellow shirt underneath. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll draw his nose and mouth, and we'll also add his eyebrows. Now let's draw his hair, and we'll add his arms, and now let's give him a hand, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. I think I made him a little too big though. 
Okay, his legs look really weird. We'll just ignore that. Let's spawn a baby Stewie. Oh yeah, that's not real. Let's see what Stewie looks like when he explodes. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted him to explode. Let's see a supercharged Stewie. This is the first time the supercharge actually fits him. Other than the fact that it has four legs and he doesn't. Let's see if he can beat a cat. Wait, he's actually not running away. Okay, never mind. He's still scared. I thought Stewie was different. Alright, I'm going to give Stewie an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating. And we got triangle. For this one, let's make Phineas because he has a triangle head. Let's shrink his legs. And we'll make his body smaller. Now let's turn his head into a triangle. And we'll rotate it down a bit. Next, let's give him some eyes. And we'll add his hair. Now let's give him some ears. And next, we will draw his mouth. Now let's make his arms smaller. And we'll draw the stripes on his shirt. Now let's give him some shorts. And finally, we'll add his shoes. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, there's a lot of things wrong with this. First, I forgot to make his pants part of his legs. And his arms are messed up. And his head is just kind of floating. And also, his mouth just looks weird because it isn't attached to his head. Okay, most of those things are fixed now. Other than the mouth, the mouth is staying the same. Let's see a baby Phineas. Okay, he is so fast. I'm actually surprised the baby isn't broken. Let's spawn an army of Phineases. And let's see if they can beat John Cena. I feel bad for John Cena. He hasn't won a single fight yet. And it doesn't look like he's winning this one either. Yeah, he had no chance. There's too many Phineases. Alright, I'm going to give Phineas a 5 out of 10. He was broken and he just looks bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Evoker. What will we get? And we got Doctor. For this one, let's make the Plague Doctor. Let's color his body black, and we'll color his shirt dark gray. Now let's color his head white, and we'll add his hood. And now let's add the beak on his mask, and we'll rotate it down a bit. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll extend out his neck part a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add some shoes. And finally, let's make his shirt look a bit ripped down here. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm lying. For some reason, his eyes make him look like an alien. Let's watch him kill a villager. Oh yeah, he summons A60s. I forgot about that. I wonder what the plague doctor thinks about blue sheep. Okay, I guess he likes red sheep better. Let's spawn an army of plague doctors. And let's see if they can beat John Cena. Oh my god, look at all the spikes coming out of the ground. Let's see the spikes come out of the ground again. Oh, that was a jungle villager. Okay, he's already dead. I'm just bullying these mobs now. Look at all the A60s flying around. Okay, the A60s are starting to die now. RIP. Alright, I'm going to give the Plague Doctor a 7 out of 10. He looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a warden. Translate. And we got Big Smile. For this one, I think I'm going to make Huggy Wuggy. First, let's change his body shape. And we'll also make the legs longer. And we'll do the same for his arms. Now, let's shape his head into a triangle. And we'll color him fully blue. Next, let's give him a big red smile. And we'll color the back of his mouth black. Now, let's add some teeth. And we'll give him some big scary eyes. Now, let's add his blue bow. And we'll give him some yellow feet. Now, let's give him some hands as well. And finally, we'll spike up the top of his head a bit. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. There's a slight issue when he walks though. Honestly, it kind of makes him scarier. Why are they all nodding their heads? Let's see one crawl out of the ground. Oh god, that is way too cursed. Let's spawn a bunch of Huggies. Their walk is so messed up. Huggy Wuggies versus the Wither. Oh, they're already getting angry. Get him, Huggies. That literally did no damage. Yo, they just launched him. Oh my god, the Huggy Wuggies look so weird when they Sonic Boom. Come on, Wither, you can do this. Oh my god, the Wither is getting destroyed. That was fast. Huggy Wuggy is a lot more powerful than I thought. Alright, I give Huggy Wuggy an 8 out of 10. He looked good, but he's broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating. And we got Captain. For this one, I'm going to make Captain America. Let's color his body fully blue, and we'll give him some red gloves and shoes. Now let's add the star on his chest, and we'll draw his belt, and let's add the red and white part on top. Now we'll color in his face, and let's draw his mask. Now we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and let's give him a little nose. Now we'll add the A on his head, and let's give him his shield. Let's just draw the star in the middle, and we'll extend his shoes out a bit. Okay, I think he looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's spawn a baby Captain America. He doesn't look too strong. Let's see if Captain America can save this villager. No, you're supposed to fight him, not join him. Well, he kind of saved him, I guess. Okay, you can stop chasing him now. Okay, I've had enough of this. Really? This guy won't even do anything? Well, I'm sorry, villager. Good job, Captain America. Let's spawn a Captain America army, and let's see if they can defeat the Iron Golem. Wow, the Iron Golem is actually killing a lot of them. And they won. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be, though. Alright, I give Captain America an 8 out of 10. I think he turned out okay. It's time for the next mob. 
The next mob is a piglin. What will we get? And we got scary bear. For this one, I think I'm going to make Freddy Fazbear. Let's delete these things, and we'll color him fully brown. Now let's extend his mouth out a bit, and we'll color the top part a lighter shade of brown. Now let's color the inside of his mouth, and we'll draw his eyes. Now let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll add his black nose. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his top hat. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add his belly patch. Next, let's give him a bow tie, and we'll make his arms and legs animatronic-like. Now let's give him his microphone, and finally we will add his feet. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks good. We definitely have to go to the nether though. Okay, he's not shaking anymore. And this one has boots, although they don't really fit. What happened to his teeth? Why are some of them smaller? Let's spawn a baby Freddy. Yo, he's so tiny. Look at how fast he's running. Honestly, baby Freddy isn't even scary. Let's spawn a Freddy army. I think you should take the helmet off. It doesn't really seem to fit. Let's get chased by all the Freddies. Oh god, they all have their crossbows ready. I don't think they'll be able to get me here. Wait, how did this guy get across? Wait, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh god, they're all getting across. I definitely didn't almost die. Alright, I give Freddy a 10 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an evoker. Translate and we got poison. For this one, I think I'm going to make venom because venom is kind of like poison. Let's color his body black and we'll color his head as well. Now let's shape his head so his mouth is open and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's color his mouth in red. Next, let's give him some teeth and we'll extend out his big tongue. I think that looks good. Now let's draw the spider on his chest and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, that looks pretty good. His tongue looks kind of weird though. I'm not going to lie. Let's see venom fight a villager. Oh wait, it's a swamp villager. Oh yeah, venom won't even fight him. The vexes just do it. Let's see venom will drop a totem i don't know why i did that i already knew he would drop one let's spawn a bunch of venoms oh these ones have a flag venom army versus a villager oh my god that was crazy look at how many vexes they just spawned i need to see that again wait he lived never mind oh no the vexes are dying venom versus captain america who will win all right they don't fight i'm gonna give venom a 9 out of 10 he looks pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translating and we got wrestler for this one i think i'm going to make the rock specifically from this picture. Let's extend this out a bit, and we'll color his shirt in black. Now let's give him some blue jeans, and we'll add his fanny pack. Now let's draw the belt around his body, and we'll give him a gold chain. Now let's color in his head, and we'll also color in his hands. Now let's draw his face, and I'm going to try to make him do the thing from this picture. Let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll draw some eyes underneath. Now let's draw his mouth, and finally we'll give him a nose. Okay, that looks a little weird. Let's see him in game. Alright, that looks okay. Okay, I really should not have tried to make his face look like that. But other than the face, I think he looks pretty good. The Rock versus Venom, who will win? Okay, Venom literally stood no chance. Come on, you can do it. Let's spawn an army of Dwayne's. Okay, that actually could have been really bad. The Rock army versus Venom army. Oh my god, Venom got destroyed. Rock army versus Captain America army. Okay, these guys literally stand no chance. The Rock is too powerful. What about the Rock army versus Huggy Wuggy army? Okay, they killed one. This fight might actually be close. Come on, Huggy Wuggy, you can defeat the Rock. One more left. And they actually did it. I guess the Rock isn't that powerful. Alright, I give the Rock an 8 out of 10. His face looked a little weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got Dark. For this one, I'm going to make Darth Vader. Let's color him fully black, and we'll add his helmet. Now let's give him some red eyes, and we'll color parts of his face gray. Now let's add the thing on his chest, and we'll give him a black cape. Let's also color his helmet darker black, and we'll color his hands gray, and we'll do the same for his feet. Now let's give him a red lightsaber and i think that turned out good let's see him in game okay that actually looks really good his legs are going through his cape though but other than that he looks good let's spawn a baby darth vader i honestly think the baby looks better let's spawn a bunch of darth vaders and let's see if they can defeat the rock the rock is going crazy the rock might actually win never mind he killed a lot of them though look at this guy just standing up here avoiding the fight now let's see if the vader army can defeat huggy wuggy or maybe they just won't fight him oh never mind he seems angry oh god he just destroyed that guy Okay, these guys don't even seem to care. This fight is boring. Alright, I give Darth Vader a 10 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. Translate. And we got Cowboy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Woody. Let's color his pants blue. And we'll color his shirt yellow. Now let's color in his face and his hands. And we'll give him some hair. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll draw his eyes underneath. Next, let's add his mouth. And we'll extend out his nose. Now let's give him his cowboy hat. And we'll add his cow spot jacket. Now let's add the star on his chest. And we'll give him a belt. Now finally we'll add his boots, and that looks kinda weird, let's see him in game. Yeah, his face still looks pretty weird, but honestly that's just how he looks anyway. Let's see if baby Woody looks any better. Oh, there are no baby pillagers. In that case, let's spawn more Woodies. Why are they all aiming their bows at me? I'm kinda scared. 
Woody versus one villager. Who will win? Oh god, they're all shooting each other. And now half of them fell in the cave. How did one of the Woodies manage to die? Another one died. Oh my god. Finally, that was embarrassing. Alright, let's give them a real challenge. So many of them are dying from their bows. Okay, they actually killed him. They're not as bad as I thought. Alright, I give Woody a 7 out of 10. His face looks really weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin brute. Translating. And we got strong. For this one, I'm going to make Mr. Incredible. Let's color his body red. And we'll color his hands black. Back, and we'll do the same for his shoes. Now let's add his underwear, and we'll put the orange stripe above it. Now let's add the Incredibles logo on his chest, and we'll color in his head. Now let's give him some hair, and we'll draw his mask, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's give him a smile, and we'll make him a little bit more buff. Okay, that looks more like his son than him, but let's see it in game. Yeah, that doesn't really look like Mr. Incredible, but if I was making his son, then I'd say I did a good job. Oh yeah, we have to go to the nether. Now that's much better. Let's go to the bastion and try to find Mr. Incredible. There he is. Along with Freddy wearing a helmet that covers his eyes. Let's see if he will fight Dwayne Johnson. Oh, he actually did a lot of damage. Let's spawn a bunch of Mr. Incredibles. And let's see if I can survive this time. Oh god, I'm still on one heart. Oh, they all stopped chasing me. Let's see if I can win a 1v1 against Mr. Incredible. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Wait, why are more of them attacking me? Oh god, that's not good. Alright, I give Mr. Incredible a 5 out of 10 because he doesn't really look like Mr. Incredible. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a giant. What will we get? And we got green mustache. For this one, I think I'm going to make Luigi. Let's color in his blue overalls, and we'll add the green to his shirt. Now let's add his yellow buttons, and we'll color in his white gloves. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll extend his nose out a bit. Now let's add his green hat, and we'll put some hair on the sides. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add the L on his hat. Now let's finally extend his shoes out a bit, and that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Oh, Okay, he looks pretty good. I don't know why I keep remaking the giant though, he literally does nothing. Literally all he can do is stand here and take damage. I wonder if the rock will attack him. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like giants. Oh no, the rock is sinking. And so is Luigi. Wait, who will die first? Okay, it's looking like Luigi wins this one. Can Iron Golems even drown? Okay, I'll just leave you down here, I guess. I give Luigi a 7 out of 10, he's kinda boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Guardian. Translate, and we got Monster. For this one, I'm going to make Mike Wazowski. Let's delete all this, and we'll give him some legs. Now let's color him fully green, and we'll draw his big eye. Let's color his eye green, and we'll give him a big mouth. Now let's add some teeth, and we'll add his arms, and let's copy that over. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, he looks really weird. He also cannot stop jumping, it's seems. That's better. Okay, now he's really fast. I'm really not sure if this is what Mike Wazowski is supposed to be like. I prefer him jumping on land better. Let's spawn an army of Mike Wazowskis. Look at them all bouncing around. Imagine if this was a real mob. I wonder if he'll chase me in survival. Okay, I should not have done that. Mike Wazowski versus Darth Vader. Okay, they don't fight, I guess. I wish I made the Elder Guardian a big Mike. Alright, I give Mike Wazowski a 9 out of 10 because he was funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither Skeleton. Translating, and we got Freeze. For this one, I think I'm going to make Frozone. Let's color his body blue, and we'll give him white gloves. Now let's add the pattern on his chest, and we'll change the shape of his head. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll extend his goggles out a bit. And let's add the blue stripe. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add his facial hair above it. Now let's give him a nose, and finally we'll color in his boots. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. I just realized I put Frozone in the desert though, which is kind of the opposite of where he should go. Let's go find him in the nether, because that makes even more sense. And here some frozones in their not so natural habitat. Let's spawn some Mr. Incredibles to go with these guys. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. I thought they were friends. Alright, let's spawn a bunch more frozones. And let's see if this many frozones can defeat the rock. It's not looking good for the rock right now. Dang, the frozones won. Now let's see if I can survive the frozones. Oh god, I'm very slow on the soul sand. No, why is the skeleton helping them? I don't think they can get me up here. Never mind, I was wrong. They found me. Alright, I give Frozone an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie piglin. What will we get? And we got Trainer. For this one, I'm going to make Ash catch him. Let's color his pants blue, and we'll color his shirt black. Now let's give him white sleeves, and we'll color his hands in his head. Now let's add his blue jacket, and we'll add his blue and green gloves to his hands. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's extend his hair out on the side, and we'll give him his hat, and let's add the green symbol on the front. Alright, that looks decent. Let's see him in game. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. He kind of looks like an old man with that hair. It seems I also forgot to extend his jacket to his back. Let's watch Freddy Fazbear turn into Ash. Wait, why is he running? Okay, that was perfectly normal. Let's spawn a baby Ash. 
Baby Ash looks so much worse. Let's spawn an army of Ashes, and I have to try this. Oh god, the babies are so fast. Wait, Ash, this is a mistake. I'm not a Pokemon. Alright, I give Ash a 7 out of 10. A lot of things went wrong. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither. Translate. And we got Evil Clown. For this one, I think I'm gonna make the Joker, but as a Wither. Let's color the bottom of his body purple. And we'll color his heads white. Now let's add a smile to the first head. And we'll also add his eyes. Now let's do the same on the two other heads. And we'll add green hair to the middle head. And we'll extend it out on the sides a little bit. And we'll also add a little part on his forehead. Now let's copy the hair to the other two heads. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Okay, I really don't know what to say about this one. The middle head looks like the Joker, but the other ones, not so much. Joker, chill. What did the chickens do? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of the most cursed mobs I've made. Let's see if the Joker can defeat Captain. Captain America. Never mind, they don't fight, I guess. What about the Joker versus Dwayne Johnson? Okay, I think the Joker is stuck. Let's help him out of here. Okay, this isn't even fair. The Rock literally didn't stand a chance. What about the Joker versus Huggy Wuggy? Huggy Wuggy is kind of getting destroyed. I won't lie, I think the Joker is going to win this one. This fight has been going forever. Wow, I guess the Joker is the new most powerful mob. And he even left a rose for us. Alright, I give the Joker a 6 out of 10. He was kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an LA. Translating... And we got Little Monkey. For this one, I'm going to make Diddy Kong. Let's get rid of his wings, and we'll add a few legs. Now let's color his body brown, and we'll extend his mouth out a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his red hat. Now let's give him some ears, and I'll draw his little red shirt. Now let's color his hands and belly, and we'll give him a little brown tail. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong here. At least when he stands, he looks fine. Well, kind of. Yeah, that is definitely a problem. Let's see if he can collect these diamonds for me. Well, at least he can do that. Okay, that made his arms look even worse. Let's spawn an army of Diddy Kongs. This noise is so weird. Let's tame as many of these Diddy Kongs as possible. And now I have my own army of Diddy Kongs following me. Let's watch them all fight over this one diamond. That was kind of cool. It was like a Diddy Kong race. Now I'll throw a bunch of diamonds. And I'll fly away so they can't bring them back to me. Wait, these guys are actually kind of fast. Oh, it looks like they found more. Alright, I give Diddy Kong a 5 out of 10. He was just too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got purple scare. For this one, I think I'm going to make Gengar. Let's delete his body and back legs, and we'll move his head down. Now let's color him light purple, and we'll add some tiny arms on the side. Now let's add the spiky parts on his head, and we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some angry eyebrows. And finally, let's give him some pupils. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I don't know if that looks good or bad. I have no idea why his face is off center. Oh god, why does his head move like that when he's walking? Let's see if Ash can catch Gengar. Okay, I don't think he's interested. Let's see if I can catch Gengar. Nope, it's still not working. Let's spawn an army of Gengars. Okay, now Ash is interested in the Gengars. Let's see a supercharged Gengar. Oh god, they're all on fire. I don't know why I keep doing this. It never works. Let's see if Gengar can kill Ash. Yeah, I don't think that's what happens in the show. Alright, I give Gengar a 6 out of 10. I don't know why his face isn't centered. It's time for the next mob. The next Next mob is a wolf. Translate, and we got mystery. For this one, I think I'm going to make Scooby-Doo. Let's remove this part, and we'll extend his body out a bit. Now let's color him fully brown, and we'll add his blue collar. Now let's draw his black nose, and we'll give him a few black spots on his body. Now let's change the shape of his ears, and we'll color the middle pink. Now let's add some eyes, and we'll rotate his tail so that it's pointing upwards. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, what happened to his tail? This is the first time I've seen a mob's body part completely disappear. Wait, never mind mind, I found it. We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. To be honest, this guy's way too small to be Scooby-Doo anyway. And let's make him even smaller by spawning a baby. Yeah, that's probably the right size. Okay, why is his head floating? I'm just gonna ignore that too. Scooby-Doo is cursed. Let's tame a Scooby. I don't have any Scooby snacks, so hopefully a bone will work. Okay, now his collar doesn't fit as well. Go kill Captain America, Scooby-Doo. Okay, Scooby actually almost died. Hopefully this will repair him. Let's hop in the mystery machine, Scooby. Okay, this isn't the mystery machine, but it's the best I could get. Look at his tail just floating over there. Alright, I give Scooby a 4 out of 10. He was just too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Agent. For this one, I'm going to make Perry the Platypus. Let's remove his head, and we'll drag his body out a bit. Now let's make his legs a bit smaller, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his beak, and we'll color the beak orange. Next, let's give him a couple eyes, and we'll draw his eyebrows. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add his hat. Now let's add the black line on his hat, and we'll give him a tail. Now finally, let's extend out his feet, 
feet. And I think he looks good. Let's see it in game. That didn't turn out too bad. We'll just ignore the creeper parts on his hat. I'm pretty sure he stands on two legs when he has his hat on, but whatever. Let's see how he looks when he explodes. Surprisingly, that doesn't look too bad. Now let's see supercharged parry. Yeah, something is clearly wrong here. Let's spawn an army of parries. This is Doofenshmirtz's worst nightmare. I wonder if Parry the Platypus can swim. Oh, he can. I don't know why I did that. It just looks like he can swim. I'm going to give Parry the Platypus a 10 out of 10, even though his hat is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. What will we get? And we got Fast. For this one, I think I'm going to make the Flash. Let's color his body red, and we'll draw his mask. Next, let's color in his skin, and we'll give him a mouth, and some eyes. Now let's add his nose, and we'll add the little Flash symbol on his ears. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the Flash logo on the front of his shirt. Now we'll draw some yellow lines on his suit, and finally we'll extend out his shoes. Alright, that looks good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good. He's not very fast though. Maybe he needs some motivation. Alright, he got a little bit faster. Still not fast enough to be the Flash though. Alright, that was pretty fast. These villagers stand no chance now. Okay, never mind. He keeps missing his hits. Let's spawn an army of Flashes, and we'll give all of them speed too. Now let's see if they can defeat the Iron Golem. Oh my god. The Iron Golem actually had no chance. Let's spawn more Iron Golems. I mean, it was closer this time, but the Flash is still one. Alright, I'm going to give the Flash a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Silverfish. Translate. And we got Crown. For this one, I think I'll make King Bob. Let's remove all this, and we'll make his body a lot bigger. Now let's give him a few tiny feet, and we'll color his feet black. Next, let's color his body yellow, and we'll give him some blue pants. Now let's add his cape, and we'll color the edges of the cape white. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll color them green. Next, we'll add the straps from his goggles, and we'll give him his crown. Let's add the purple part on top, and we'll add the gold outlines on the side. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That actually looks really good. Other than the goggles, there's something wrong with the straps. I don't have any bananas, so I guess I'll just give him this. I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a King Bob army, and let's watch them all chase me. This looks so much less annoying than actual silverfish. It's King Bob, so of course we have to build him a throne. What is he doing right now? I guess they don't like the throne. Let's see the King Bob army versus Iron Golem. I don't think this is a fair fight. Let's spawn more King Bobs. Yeah, they're not even fighting back. Okay, they're starting to do damage. Yeah, the Iron Golem still won. I give King Bob an 8 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate, and we got Lobster. For this one, I think I'll make Larry the Lobster. First, we'll remove the hair. Next, let's make his legs smaller, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now, let's color him red, and we'll give him a head. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add a claw to his hand. Now, let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's give him two yellow eyes, and we'll add the antenna things to his head. Now, let's color his shell darker red, and we'll give him some blue shorts. Now we'll give him some abs, and finally we'll add his lobster tail. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. What is going on here? I did not expect there to be a baby Larry on top. And something seems to have happened to his face, the texture is all messed up. Let's go find Larry in the nether. And here we have Larry the lobster with a baby on his head again. Honestly, he would look really good if one of his eyes wasn't missing. Let's ride Larry the lobster. This always looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Larrys. Look at the babies, they look so weird. I wonder if Larry will lift some bedrock. Never mind, I thought he was strong. Alright, I give Larry the lobster a 9 out of 10. He would be a 10 if his face wasn't broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the warden. Translating. And we got green. For this one, I think I'm going to make the green rainbow friend. Let's shrink his body and head, and we'll make his arms face upwards. Now let's color him fully green. Next, let's make his mouth look like it's open, and we'll color the back of his mouth black. Next, let's give him a bunch of white teeth, and we'll copy these to the top. Now let's give him a tongue, and we'll extend his tongue out a bit. Next, we'll extend out his eyes, and we'll make his eyes circular. Now finally, let's draw his pupils, and that looks good. Let's see it in game. I don't know how I feel about this one. There's something about the way he moves that is very terrifying. He's also very tall. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like a cactus monster. Let's find green in the deep dark. Of course, we have to see him emerge from the ground. I'm not gonna lie, that might be scarier than the warden. I wonder how this thing looks when it's angry. We'll give him a sheep that he can't hit. I'm sorry, sheep. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's spawn an army of greens, and let's see if the Flash can beat them. Oh, he's running at him. Yeah, the Flash will not win that. I give the green rainbow friend a 10 out of 10. He's honestly scarier than the warden. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got rich. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elon Musk. Let's give him a dark blue suit, and we'll make it open a bit. Next, let's give him some eyes, and some eyebrows, 
and we'll give him a nose, and we'll also give him a mouth. Now let's add his hair, and we'll change his mouth so it looks like he's smiling. Now let's extend his suit down a little bit more, and we'll give him some hands. Now finally we'll extend his shoes out a bit, and I think that looks good, let's see it in game. That doesn't actually look that bad. The texture is broken, but that happens all the time honestly. Elon, can you stop pointing the bow at me please? Now because we have Elon Musk, we have to make a Tesla. I mean this kinda looks like a Tesla. Now can Elon drive the Tesla? Nope, I don't think so. Let's spawn an army of Elons. That is way too many pillager flags. And now let's watch Elon Musk kill this innocent citizen. Like usual, they're doing a better job at killing each other. I don't know, I actually think none of them died this time. What about Elons versus an Iron Golem? This is looking pretty even right now. Never mind, the Iron Golem is dead. Alright, I give Elon Musk an 8 out of 10. He turned out good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Guardian. Translate. And we got red. For this one, I think I'll make the red angry bird. Let's remove all this random stuff, and we'll color him fully red. Now let's color his belly light brown, and we'll draw his massive eyebrow. Now let's add his eyes underneath, and we'll give him an orange beak. Now let's draw the circles around his eyes, and we'll add his tufts of hair to his head. Now finally, let's give him a few black tail feathers, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Now I know I could have made the red rainbow friend, but I just made the green one, so you get angry bird instead. I don't know how this stuff keeps happening, like why is there white on his head? Oh, he's moving way too fast. He seems to be avoiding the pigs though. No, you're supposed to hit the pigs, that's what angry birds do. Let's see a baby one. Oh, there is no baby guardians. Let's spawn an army of red angry birds. Is this how angry birds actually move? I'm not even sure. Let's see angry bird army versus green rainbow friend. Oh, he is not happy with these guys. Oh god, rip that angry bird. The angry birds aren't really fighting back. Wait, I wanna see something. Now this is truly terrifying. What if we give speed 2 to an angry bird? I don't think it really sped him up that much. Alright, I give the red angry bird a 7 out of 10. He was kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating. And we got wreck. For this one, I think I'm going to make wreck it Ralph. Let's extend out his body. And we'll make his arms bigger. Now let's color his shirt orange. And we'll color his arms and his head. Next, let's color his pants. And we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's draw his curved up smile. And we'll give him a big nose. Next, let's add his hair. And we'll spike it on the sides a bit. Now let's add his ears, and we'll add the neck of his shirt. Next let's draw a few buttons, and we'll add his brown overalls. Now let's give him some orange sleeves, and we'll make his fists a bit bigger. Now finally let's give him some feet, and I think we're done, let's see it in game. I mean he doesn't look too bad. Okay his face looks kinda bad, but it was really hard to make. Let's see Wreck-It Ralph versus the Flash. Dang, Wreck-It Ralph is a tank. Let's spawn more Wreck-It Ralphs. I'm not letting this spawn a million of them like last time. I think we could spawn more of them though. Oh god. Alright, I think that's a good amount. Now let's see if they can beat the green rainbow friend. Oh my god, the green rainbow friend does not die. It took them like a hundred hits to kill that guy. Alright, I give Wreck-It Ralph a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 if his face looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? And we got Pan. For this one, I think I'll make Peter Pan. Let's color his shirt green, and we'll color his pants a darker green. Now let's color his head and his arms, and we'll make his sleeves curve like this. Now let's give him a belt, and we'll draw the bottom of his shirt. Next let's give him some eyes, and we'll curve his eyebrows up a bit. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add his nose. Next we'll give him some orange hair, and we'll add his green hat. Now finally we'll add the feather on the top, and that doesn't really look like Peter Pan. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. As always, something is broken though. I wish I made his face look more like Peter Pan, because the rest of him looks good. Let's spawn a baby Peter Pan. The head is a little bit smaller, so it kinda looks better. Let's spawn an army of Peter Pans, and let's see if they can survive the Flash. Unfortunately for this Peter Pan, it looks like the Flash only wants him. That was an accident. What kind of traits does Peter Pan have? Okay, never mind. I thought Peter Pan was able to fly. I guess not. Alright, I give Peter Pan an 8 out of 10. He looks okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translate. And we got Flying Cat. For this one, I'm going to make Mew. Let's remove the legs. And we'll add a head. Now let's color the head and body pink. And we'll add his legs. Now let's add his arms. And we'll rotate his arms and legs a little bit. Now let's add his spirally tail. And we'll give him two ears. Now let's add his eyes. And we'll extend his nose out a bit. And I think that turned out pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't actually look bad. But the eyes are off center somehow. Out of all the Pokemon I've made, Mew definitely looks the best. The sounds he makes is really weird though. Let's see a baby Mew. Oh my god, it's literally so small. This is probably an accurate size for a bee, though. Let's spawn an army of Mews. Okay, the sound has gotten way worse. What if I attack a Mew? Oh god, this is not good. The sound has gotten even worse now. It sounds like a tiny airplane trying to take off. Let's see if Mew will fight the green rainbow friend. Okay, seriously, why is he attacking the cow? No, not the baby. 
Okay, they don't attack him. This is boring. Alright, I give Mew an 8 out of 10. It turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Caveman. For this one, I think I'll make Fred Flintstone. Let's make his arms and legs a bit bigger, and we'll color his shirt orange, and we'll make it look ripped on the bottom. Now let's color the rest of his body, and we'll color the bottom of his mouth a bit darker. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a long nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a bit of black hair. Now let's change his mouth, cause this looks weird, and we'll draw his blue tie. Now finally, let's add some black spots to his shirt, and that looks good, let's see it in game. Oh yeah, these guys burn. That's better. I think he's a little bit too tall. What if we spawn a baby? Yeah, there are no baby skeletons. Let's spawn a Fred Flintstone army, and we'll give him some cocoa pebbles. Isn't he the guy on that? I'm not sure. Let's spawn a dog. I heard cavemen and dogs used to get along. Okay, maybe I was wrong. The dog does not seem happy with him. Oh no, Fred Flintstone got stuck. Alright, I give Fred Flintstone an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got Super. For this one, I think I'm going to make Superman. Let's color his body blue, and we'll draw his underwear. Next, let's put a yellow belt above them, and we'll draw the Superman logo on his chest. Now let's give him some red boots, and we'll color in his hands and his head. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his hair. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll draw a mouth underneath. Now finally, let's add his red cape, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Why are his hands blue? I mean, obviously I meant to do that. His head is also red, like spider eyes or something. Let's spawn a baby Superman. This is definitely a kid in a costume, not Superman. Superman versus the Flash. Or not, the Flash doesn't fight them. Superman versus Peter Pan. There's no way they're catching him. Superman versus Wreck-It Ralph? Okay, that one was just not fair. I wonder if Superman can hold any weapons. Nope, he's more interested in the villager. I wouldn't go that way, Superman. I told him not to. I give Superman a 7 out of 10. He was kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a snow golem. Translate, and we got frozen. For this one, I think I'll make Olaf. First, let's change the shape of his body a bit, and we'll extend the side of his face out. Now let's color him fully white, and we'll give him a couple of legs. Now let's draw two buttons on the bottom part, and one button in the middle. Next, let's extend the front of his face out, and we'll give him an orange carrot nose. Now let's add his tooth underneath, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's add the little hairs on top of his head, and finally we'll color his arms to match his hair. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, yeah, I think we need to remove his hat. That looks... interesting. I'm not sure why his arms are floating, but other than that, he doesn't look too bad. Olaf versus Superman. Oh, he's destroying Superman. Never mind, that was embarrassing. I just noticed his feet are in the ground. Let's spawn a bunch of Olafs. And now let's see if they can beat Superman. They're hitting each other with the snowballs. Wow, they actually did it. Wasn't that hard considering Superman was on fire, but... Alright, I give Olaf a 7 out of 10. He was okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a llama. What will we get? And we got opposite. For this one, I think I'll make Wario because he's the opposite of Mario. Let's color his body purple and we'll add his yellow shirt. Now let's color his head and we'll make this thing his nose. Now let's give him a couple of eyes and we'll draw his big smile. Now let's add his mustache above it and we'll give him some angry eyebrows. Now let's move his ears and we'll give him some hair. Next, we'll add his hat and we'll draw the W on the front. Now let's draw his hands and we'll give him some green shoes. Now finally, let's Warioify the chests. And that looks pretty cursed. Let's see it in game. That is not what we want. That looks a lot better. Well, I don't know if better is the word, but it is what we were looking for. Let's see a baby Wario. I like this one a lot better. Let's spawn a bunch of Warios. I hate the noise they make. And let's see if they'll fight me. Okay, really? He's just spitting on me. Upon further review, I don't think llamas actually fight you. But will they fight the Flash? No, they won't. I give Wario Llama a 6 out of 10. It's not that bad considering how cursed it is. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating, and we got skateboard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Bart Simpson. Let's make his body a little bit smaller, and we'll make his head taller. Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll give him blue shorts. Next, we'll color the rest of his body yellow, and we'll give him some sleeves. Now let's add his neck, and we'll give him a little nose. Now let's draw his eyes, and we'll give him a little smile. Now let's add his spiky hair, and we'll give him some blue shoes. And I think we're done, let's see this in game. Okay, there is definitely a major problem with this. I guess you're just not allowed to move the arms on a husk. What about Baby Bart? Yup, we have the exact same problem. And his neck is massive, why? I guess we'll just spawn more Barts. And let's see if these broken Barts can beat Wreck-It Ralph. It is not looking good for Wreck-It Ralph. Wow, I don't even think that many Barts died. 
Okay, I'm done with this. I need to get it off my screen. I give Bart Simpson a 1 out of 10 for effort. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate. And we got Tusk. For this one, I think I'm going to make an elephant. Let's remove these ears, and we'll color it fully gray, and I don't think elephants have udders. Now let's extend the trunk out a bit, and we'll curve the trunk down like this. Now let's extend out his tusks, and we'll copy that over to the other side. Now let's give him some eyes. Those don't really look like elephant eyes. And we'll give him some big ears. I think those ears are good enough. Now finally, let's give it a tail. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Yeah, that looks like an elephant. Not a very accurate size, though. I'm pretty sure this is the same size as a baby elephant. Let's see what the baby elephant looks like. That doesn't look too bad, honestly. But elephants aren't usually in a taiga forest, so let's find a savanna. This is the smallest savanna in the game. Whatever. At least our elephants are in the right spot now. I don't think elephants are supposed to moo though. Let's spawn an army of elephants and let's milk an elephant. Perfectly normal, right? I love a nice bowl of cereal with elephant milk. Honestly, I think Mojang should add elephants without the elephant milk though. Alright, I give the elephant an 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. Translate, and we got Shadow. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll add his hair things on the side of his head. Now let's draw this thing on his chest. Next, let's give him some hands. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, his arms look really weird when he's moving. But other than that, nothing seems to be broken. Let's spawn a baby shadow. Never mind, that isn't real. Let's spawn an army of shadows. And let's see if they can beat the iron golem. Oh my god, the iron golem is going crazy. Come on, shadow army, you can do it. And they actually did it. Because Shadow is supposed to be fast, let's see if he can catch a villager. Oh, they're not actually chasing him, they're just shooting. Let's give them all speed too. These guys are way too fast now, this is scary. Alright, I'm going to give Shadow an 8 out of 10, he looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translating, and we got Knight. For this one, I'm going to make Meta Knight. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's extend out his feet, and we'll make him a bit circular. Now let's color his body, and let's draw his helmet. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a sword. Now let's draw his wings. Now finally let's add texture, and I think that looks really good, let's see it in game. Okay, I think something is wrong with his feet. Okay, that looks a lot better. His body isn't really attached to his feet though, so that's weird. Let's see a supercharged Meta Knight. Yeah, I don't think he looks that good supercharged. Let's just blow him up. That's better. Let's spawn an army of Meta Knights, and let's see if I can beat them in a fight. This would be scarier if they actually attacked me and didn't just blow up. But since they blow up, I can just do this. And now they're all dead. Well, almost. Alright, I'm going to give Meta Knight a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Shy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shy Guy. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll move his head. Now let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color him fully red, and we'll add his mask. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's draw his belt. Now let's give him some arms. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Alright, that actually looks pretty good. Somehow the pigs always end up looking good. He even looks normal when he walks. Let's see if the baby has a floating head. Yep, his head is still floating. But I don't think it looks as bad as it normally does. Let's spawn an army of shy guys. And now let's ride a shy guy. How is he able to carry me when he's so small? I have an army now because they're all following me. His right arm over the mask looks so funny. Let's see if shy guy can beat Meta Knight. Okay, I'm pretty sure they don't fight. Let's ride a Shy Guy with speed too. Okay, this doesn't make him much faster, honestly. Alright, I'm going to give Shy Guy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate, and we got Starter. For this one, I'm going to make Quaxley because he's my favorite starter in the new Pokemon game. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white. And we'll color his beak yellow. And we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his hat. Now let's draw the symbol on his hat. Next, let's make his arms smaller. Now let's color his feet blue. And we'll add some texture. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this. This is good enough. Alright, his head moves really weird as well. But other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying. It's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxley. Okay, this is even worse. What is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxley in a Pokeball. 
Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxley army, and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. Alright, I'm going to give Quaxley a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating, and we got Strange. For this one, I think we'll make Doctor Strange. Let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and we'll also give him a beard. Now let's add his nose. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his cape. Now we'll add the eye thing on his chest. Now finally, let's add texture. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. His cape looks kind of weird because it doesn't move though. I also think I added a little too much texture to him. But other than that, he looks good. Let's see a baby Doctor Strange. This is the first baby that isn't broken. This is funny though, he looks like a kid in a costume. Let's spawn an army of Doctor Stranges. And now let's see if they can beat Shadow. Oh, they don't fight. Now let's see if they can kill this villager. Okay, now Shadow is killing them. This 1v1 is crazy. Okay, Shadow had no chance using a bow. I love how far back the army is compared to the babies. They literally just gave up because they were too far. Alright, I'm going to give Doctor Strange an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Picklin. What will we get? And we got Wizard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Harry Potter. Let's make his head smaller. Now let's color his clothes. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll give him a mouth. And a nose. Now let's add his hair. Now let's add his glasses. Now let's give him a tie. And we'll give him a belt. Now let's add his shoes. And finally we'll add texture. And I think that looks fine, let's see him in game. This doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look like Harry Potter. Oh, and I also forgot to color his back. Oh yeah, we have to find him in the nether. Oh, he has a gold chest plate now. I wonder if I can give him a wand. Nope, I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a baby Harry Potter. This looks kind of weird. At least his head isn't floating. Let's spawn a Harry Potter army. And now let's see if they'll fight Shadow. Oh yeah, I have to make them shoot each other first. Okay, Shadow literally died in a millisecond. What about a Shadow army versus the Harry Potters? Okay, the Shadows just aren't fighting them. Yet somehow they are winning. Okay, I think the Harry Potters won this one. Alright, I'm going to give Harry Potter a 6 out of 10. He doesn't look like Harry Potter. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translate, and we got slow. For this one, I think we'll make Q from alphabet lore because he's slow. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll make him into a rectangle. Now let's color the rectangle, and we'll add the rest of his body up here, and we'll fully outline him in black. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll color it in darker brown. Next, let's add these spots right here, and we'll give him his eyes. Now finally, let's outline his back as well, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. I don't think there's turtles in the nether. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. He's literally moving like a snail right now. Let's see a baby Q. Oh my god, he is ridiculously small. I can barely even see him. How is this possible? Wait, these Qs are swimming in the water. Let's spawn a Q army. And let's give them slowness so they're even slower. They're barely even able to move now. This is crazy. Now let's lure them all towards me. I've been standing here for so long and they still haven't made it over. They kind of look like sushi rolls from this angle. Alright, I'm going to give Q an 8 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translating. And we got Rush. For this one, let's make Rush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body thinner. Now let's extend his body out a bit, and we'll extend out the sides to make him look circular. And we'll also do this on the top and bottom. Now let's add his dark grey mouth, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose thing. Now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add some teeth on the bottom as well. Now let's add some detail to his face, and we'll make it a bit darker under his teeth. And I think that's good, let's see it in game. Oh, that is not what we want. Okay, that looks better. Honestly, this might be the scariest mob we've made yet. The way he flies is terrifying. Let's see a baby rush. Okay, that's not as bad. At least it looks like I could beat this one in a fight. Let's spawn an army of rushes. And let's see if I can get away from them. Oh god, I'm still on half a heart. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, he's not as scary now that I know how slow he moves. This would still be terrifying if I saw this in the game. Alright, I'm going to give Rush a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got Wise Old. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoda. First, let's remove his feet and legs, and we'll shape him more like Yoda. Now let's give him a head, and I'll color his shirt gray, and his head and feet green. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color these gray, and I'll extend his second arm out so I can make him hold a lightsaber. Now let's make his ears, and we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's give him some eyelids, and a nose, and a mouth, and we'll color him brown underneath his coat. Now we'll finally give him a green lightsaber, 
I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. That isn't right. That looks more like Yoda. Look at how he's walking. Why does that kind of look good? Something is wrong with his lightsaber though. I'm not sure what happened there. Yo, when did Yoda learn how to jump like that? I wish I could spawn a baby Yoda. Yoda versus a magma cube. Oh, he's running away. Oh my god, they both ate it. Yoda army. Honestly, the sound they make kind of suits him. All right, let's spawn a bunch of magma cubes. Use the lightsaber, Yoda. Okay, I think these guys are too big. I don't know why I like seeing them eat the magma cubes so much. It just looks so weird. All right, I think I'm gonna give Yoda a 10 out of 10. I think he looks amazing. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translating, and we got Train. For this one, I'm going to make Thomas the tank engine. First, let's get rid of all of this. Next, we'll extend the back up a bit, and I'll color him blue. Next, I'll give him some wheels, and I'll add a little black roof on the back. Now, let's color in his face, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Now, let's add his nose, and next, we'll add the train thing on his head, and we'll add another one in blue. Now, we can draw some windows, and we'll put the red outlines on the bottom, and finally, I will draw the number one on his side. Okay, that looks pretty good let's see it in game all right we have to make our way to the end oh my god i'm pretty sure there's something wrong with his head yeah i don't think it's supposed to be floating like that all right that looks much better imagine finally making it to the end in your world and then you see this instead of the ender dragon honestly this is a good replacement though i won't lie oh he's perching i love how he flips just like the battle bus enderman watch out there's a train coming through the endermen are not happy anymore what happens if we spawn a bunch of thomases oh god that's too many i can't break it oh no well this might be a problem. Where are they all going? Goodbye, Thomases, I guess. It's better for them up there anyway. That way my FPS is safe. I'm going to give Thomas a 9 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. What will we get? And we got green onions. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shrek. First, we'll color his head in green. Next, I'll color his shirt a tan color, and we'll make his pants brown. Now, I'll draw his vest over his shirt, and we'll give him his belt as well. Now, let's make his hands green. Now, I'll give him a big nose, and we'll draw some eyes above that that. Now let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll give him his mouth. Now we can add his ears, and I'll turn them sideways a little bit. Now finally, I will add his shoes, and that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't sound like Shrek though. If I was this chicken, I would watch out. Oh no, Shrek is angry. I'm sorry, chicken. Let's watch a Shrek emerge from the ground. Wow, this is exactly how I remember it in the movie. Alright, let's spawn a bunch of Shreks. And I think they need someone to fight, so let's give them one sheep. I wonder who will win. This will be close. Oh, the sheep almost had them. But seriously, let's spawn one wither and see how fast they kill it. Oh, that explosion made them mad. Time for a warden death ray. Honestly, the wither might win this one. They aren't doing that much damage. Oh, never mind. The wither seems to be stuck. Dang, not even one Shrek died. Alright, I give Shrek an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an enderman. Translate. And we got siren. For this one, I'm going to make siren head. First, I'll shorten his legs. Next, I will give him a torso. Now, we can make his head into a stick. And I'll color him a coppery color. Now, let's add the first siren and we'll color it black and add the teeth. Now I'll rotate it sideways and I'll copy it over to the other side. Now let's add texture to his body and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Yeah, that's definitely Siren Head. He's not too scary in Minecraft though, to be honest. I mean, when he's chasing me, it's definitely worse. Even though his head starts floating. Yeah, there's no way he'll get me now, buddy. Let's go check out the end. Oh yeah, there's 5,000 Ender Dragons. And because of all the Ender Dragons, only one Siren Head spawned. Nice. Alright, that should do the trick. There's a lot more Siren Heads over here now. Alright, let's see how long I can survive oh god there's already an army behind me oh god they're all teleporting to me guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to look at you i guess they don't accept apologies oh no i'm on half a heart no i almost made it through the portal i give siren head a 7 out of 10 he was kind of boring it's time for the next mob the next mob is a silverfish translating and we got tiny green for this one i think i'm going to make plankton let's get rid of all these layers and we'll make this part into his body now let's give him a couple of legs and we'll color all this green next let's draw his yellow eye and we'll give him a red pupil now let's draw his angry eyebrow and we'll give him a wide open mouth now let's give him some arms and in the picture i'm looking at they're up in the air so let's rotate them up now finally we can add the antenna type things to his head and that looks good let's see him in game wait that actually turned out really good i have no idea where he's going though i think he's off to find the krabby patty formula well then we'll have to bring him to the crusty crab plankton i think the krabby patty formula is in this chest i guess he doesn't want it anymore i think they all died from excitement what just happened did i just lag back in a single player world all right let's spawn a bunch of planktons and and let's put them against one Shrek. Who will win? Shrek doesn't even seem to be bothered by them. Never mind. Run away, Plankton. All right, I give Plankton a 9 out of 10. He looks better than I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got fast. Last time I made a fox, I made Sonic, so this time I'm going to make Tails. Let's color him in dark yellow, and we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's add the white hair at the bottom of his face, and we'll give him some big blue eyes. Now let's 
draw his nose, and we'll add his white gloves. Next, let's draw his shoes on the back legs, and we'll extend them out a little bit. Now let's color the back part of his tail white, and we'll copy it over because he has two tails, and I think that turned out good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Tails versus a chicken, who will win? Dang, Tails killed him instantly. Can Tails use a sword? I'm not sure, honestly. Sword Tails going crazy. Wait, no, you dropped the sword. I guess chicken is a better weapon than a sword. Let's spawn a bunch of Tailses. And let's spawn a rabbit. Which one will get it? I don't think they can reach it. Let's lower it down a little bit. I honestly didn't think they could get it from there. Alright, Tails, what are you gonna do now? Wait, how did he hit that one? Oh no, they're going crazy. I don't know how he got up there. That jump is pretty high. Alright, I give Tails an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Bunso Bunny. First, let's rotate his arms, and we'll make his ears flop down. Now, let's extend the front of his face out, and we'll color his head yellow. Now, let's draw his scary mouth, and we'll give him some teeth on the sides. Next, we'll add his cheeks, and let's draw these green things along with his eyes. Next, we'll color the rest of him yellow, and we'll add his green overalls. Next, let's give him his symbols, and we'll add a hat to his head, and let's color the hat green. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with him. But honestly, it makes him look more scary, so I'm alright with it. We're just gonna ignore the floating ears. How does the baby look? Yeah, the ears are still floating. This is very cursed. Might as well just feed them to the Tailses. This one guy is trying to get away. Alright, we'll spawn an army of Bunzo bunnies, because why not? Why are they just slowly hopping towards me? Now this is scary. I'm being surrounded. Alright, I give Bunzo Bunny a 4 out of 10. Too many things were broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Starfish. For this one, I'm going to make Patrick Star. Let's remove the hairs, and we'll make his legs a lot smaller. Next, let's shape his body into a star, and we'll color him fully pink. Now we'll give him some arms, and we'll draw his green shorts. Next, let's give him big eyes, and we'll add his giant smile, and we'll give him a pink tongue. Now finally, we can add the purple flowers on his shorts, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good considering it's a triangle in Minecraft. Let's find some in the nether. And here we have a bunch of Patrick standing on the lava. Once again, this is kind of weird considering he lives underwater. Let's ride a Patrick. Yo, this looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Patricks. Yo, it's baby Patrick. And there's also a Patrick with a pig man on top. Let's go, Patrick army. I don't think I remember this part in the show. Alright, I give Patrick a 7 out of 10. He kind of looks weird in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. What will we get? And we got Hungry Clown. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ronald McDonald. First, let's turn the hat into hair, and we'll color it fully red. Now, let's remove his nose, and we'll color his face white. Next, let's give him a red nose, and a big red smile, and we'll draw his eyes. Okay, that actually looks kind of scary. Now, let's color his shirt in yellow, and we'll put red and white stripes on the sleeve. Leaves. Next, we'll add a white collar, and we'll draw a red zipper down the middle. Now, we'll color his pants yellow too, and we'll give him red and white striped socks. Now, let's add his red shoes, and we'll make them black on the bottom. Okay, that turned out kind of scary. Let's see him in game. Somehow, this is the scariest mob I've made yet. Ronald McDonald's versus Iron Golem. Yeah, not so scary anymore. He wasn't even supposed to be scary to begin with. Oh no, the golem is coming for him. Let's spawn a huge Ronald McDonald army. Wait, will these guys fight a villager? Nah, they don't even fight. Why is the Iron Golem so mad at them? Alright, Ronald McDonald versus Shrek. That is a fight I never thought I would see. Uh, Ronald, you got something behind you. Oh no, Shrek is angry. And that's one Ronald down. Alright, I give Ronald McDonald an 8 out of 10. I think he looks good, but he's not supposed to be scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a polar bear. Translate, and we got honey. For this one, I'm going to make Winnie the Pooh. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll draw his red shirt. Now let's change this part of his face a bit, and we'll give him little black eyes with some black eyebrows above. Now let's draw his pink tongue, and a red smile on the sides and finally we'll give him a little black nose and i think that looks good let's see it in game he doesn't look too bad kind of big for winnie the pooh though what about the baby the baby is definitely a better size all right let's give him some honey that's weird it doesn't look like they want it all right winnie the pooh versus tails who will win oh god tails is already running away and tails already outran him i think i have a solution for that okay never mind i guess tails is just too fast let's spawn a winnie the pooh army that is just not the sound i would imagine winnie the pooh makes okay surely this tails can can't outrun them. Okay, he died instantly. Time to get chased by a bunch of Winnie the Poohs. Okay, these guys are really slow. Alright, I give Winnie the Pooh a 7 out of 10. He didn't turn out too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Red Puppet. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elmo. Let's color his head and body red, and we'll move this part of his head down a bit, and we'll pull this back a bit so his mouth is open. Now let's color his mouth in black, and we'll do the same on the bottom and top part. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll color his nose orange. Next, we'll give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple of black pupils. 
All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks good. Not sure why the back of his neck is white though, but Elmo has a bow and he came ready for battle. I'm really not sure that's what happens in the show. All right, let's see a wolf versus Elmo. Dang, the wolf is angry. The wolf is running sideways. Elmo better run. This wolf is crazy. That wolf is hungry for Elmo's bones. Okay, he hit him. Oh, he hit him again. And the wolf is running away again. Oh my God, he finally got him. And he didn't even get any Elmo bones. All right, I give Elmo a six out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pink ball. I think for this one, I will make Kirby. Let's delete the body and we'll move the head down. Now let's delete his back legs and we'll extend the front legs out like this. Next, let's color his legs in dark pink and we'll color his body in a lighter pink. Now let's give him some tiny arms and we'll draw his little red mouth and let's give him some blue eyes. And finally, we'll draw his pink cheeks. Okay, something looks wrong. That looks much better. Let's see it in game. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Not sure what's happening with his body right now though, but even his walk didn't turn out too bad, honestly. Let's spawn an army of Kirby's and now let's spawn a baby Kirby. Oh yeah, Kirby's versus one cat, who will win? I don't know why they're afraid of one cat. Let's see a charged Kirby. Oh god, they're all gonna die. I don't think the charge really fits Kirby. Let's see if it can blow up a Shrek. Not even close. All right, I give Kirby an eight out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got money video. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mr. Beast. Let's give him a black shirt and we'll color in his arms and his head. Now let's give him gray shorts and we'll color his legs as well. Next, I'll draw the Mr. Beast logo on his shirt and I'll give him some green eyes and some brown eyebrows. Now let's do his hair and we'll give him some white teeth. And now let's draw his beard. Okay, his mouth looks kind of like buck teeth, so I'm going to change the color. Now, finally, we can give him some shoes. And that looks all right. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look too bad. It honestly just looks like a random guy, though. There's no proof this is Mr. Beast. Maybe he'll give this random villager money. Oh, wow. He's chasing him to give it to him. How nice. Wait, no, he wasn't supposed to do that. All right, let's see if Mr. Beast can raid a village. I guess Mr. Beast really doesn't like villagers. Maybe baby Mr. Beast is better. Oh, no, baby Mr. Beast is fast. That just made things worse. All right, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast versus Iron Golem. That was fast. Mr. Beast Army versus Iron Golem. Oh no, the Iron Golem is cornered. Dang, they actually won. Should I let him in? Of course I'm gonna let him in. Dang, they left fast. Alright, I give Mr. Beast a 7 out of 10. He's basically just a player skin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translating, and we got water. For this one, I think I'm going to make Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. Alright, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now let's make a spirally tail and that looks good let's see him in game okay let me know if you guys see the problem it's kind of hard to spot i don't really know how this happens so i guess we'll just ignore that but other than that he looks fine how does the baby look i was hoping the baby was the size of a regular squirtle because this guy is clearly too big all right squirtle army okay i have to fix the floating thing okay that looks a lot better squirtle use bubble beam or whatever move he has oh wait i have to catch him first nope the pokeballs still don't work I wish I had made him smaller because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. All right, I give Squirtle a six out of 10. He just doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? And we got professional. For this one, I'm going to make Matt from Wii Sports because he's good at everything. First, let's change the size of his nose and we'll color in his head. Now let's give him his beard thing and we'll draw his mouth. Next, let's give him some eyes. And now we can color his shirt in orange as well as the sleeves and we'll make his pants dark gray. Now, finally, we can put the rest of his beard and we'll try to make it look a bit spiky. All right, that doesn't look bad. Let's see it in game. I mean, honestly, he doesn't look too bad. What about baby Matt? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Let's see if Matt can beat me in tennis. I think he's losing. Matt versus Mr. Beast, who will win? Well, Mr. Beast is burning, so this is actually a fair fight. And Matt actually wins. I mean, of course he won. He's mad. Let's find a village full of mats. And they're everywhere. They even have a Matt farming over here with something gold on his beard. Let's spawn a Matt army. And let's see if Mr. Beast can kill them now. Nah, Matt is just too fast. Where is Mr. Beast even going? He's just given up because Matt is too good. Never mind, he's just going for this one while he sleeps the one place you can beat him i'm sure he just wants to give him money i'll let him in never mind i was very wrong all right i give matt an 8 out of 10 he turned out pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is a pig translate and we got angry for this one i'm going to make the king pig from angry birds but with a full body 
Let's color the pig fully green, and we'll make his nose a slightly lighter green. Now let's add a couple of nostrils, and we'll give him his eyes, and a couple eyebrows on top, and a little mouth underneath. Now let's add his green ears, and we'll make a crown in the middle of his ears. Let's add the spiky parts to the top, and we'll draw some blue jewels in the middle. And that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. That looks pretty good. It was pretty easy to not mess this one up though, to be fair. Let's spawn a baby pig and see how it looks. I think I like it better because of the giant head. Alright, let's spawn an army of angry birds. I don't think they're very angry. Let's spawn a pig army. Now we won't know which one is actually the king. What is Elmo doing in the water over here? Alright, let's make Shrek fight the pigs since the angry birds won't do it. Okay, that's just mean. I have a better idea. Let's see if we can hit any pigs. No, he moved out of the way. Okay, attempt number two. No, that was so close. These chickens don't go very far. Okay, this is my last bird. Let's get a running start. Come on. No, he moved last second. I guess I'm just bad at Angry Birds. Alright, I give Angry Birds Pig an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate. And we got Funny Dog. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Goofy. Let's remove the hair, and we'll shape his body. Now let's color his shirt orange, and we'll color his pants blue. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll color his mouth. Now let's color the back of his head black, and we'll color his mouth as well. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his front teeth, and we'll add his green hat. Now let's give him his ears, and we'll color in his gloves. Now let's add his jacket, and finally we'll add his giant shoes. Okay, I think that looks really good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I didn't really expect this to happen. That looks a lot better. Okay, his walk animation is really cursed. Let's go find Goofy in the nether. And here is Goofy in his natural habitat. This is kind of scary, to be honest. Let's ride a Goofy. Oh my god, why is it all green? This is perfectly normal. There is nothing wrong with this. Look at them all emerging in the back. Let's spawn an army of Goofies. Wait, I forgot there could be baby Goofies. They look so funny. There's even a baby Goofy on top of another Goofy. Follow me, Goofy Army. Why do they lean back so far? Look at how the babies move. It's so funny. I'm going to give Goofy a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got Hairy Monster. For this one, I'm going to make Sully from Monsters, Inc. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll add a lighter belly patch. Now let's add some purple spots on his body, and I'll give him a little nose. Now let's draw a smile, and we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, I'll extend his eyelids out a bit, and we'll add a couple horns on the side. Now let's add his lizard-like tail, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he looks pretty good. I keep forgetting to texture the top of the legs, though. But other than that, I don't see any problems. I don't think he's a fan of that chicken, though. Let's see if he'll go through the store. No, Sully, you're going the wrong way. Oh god, he's angry. What did the horse do? They're killing the horse for no reason. Let's go find a Sully in the deep dark. I think that was the first time it looked kind of normal. Honestly, Sully could have been the warden. They look really similar. I think he's angry at this baby zombie, but he can't find him. Oh, never mind. Sully versus Goofy, who will win? Oh, Sully's just killing other people instead. Sully is going on a rampage. Never mind, rip Goofy. Alright, I give Sully a 9 out of 10. He was almost perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. What will we get? And we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Thor. Let's color his head and his arms, and we'll color the rest of his body blue. Now let's add his hair, and we'll drag his head up a bit and give him a neck. Now let's add his cape, and we'll color the cape red. Next I will give him some blue eyes, and I'll add his eyebrows, and his mouth. Now let's add his beard, and we'll give him two shoulder pads. Now let's add his gloves, and we'll add a pattern on his shirt and pants. Now finally I will give him his hammer, and I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I don't know why the textures keep messing up. Oh, and both of his shoulders are the same shoulder. But other than that, he doesn't look too bad. Let's see baby Thor. If you would move, that would be cool. It's literally just Thor, but smaller. Let's see if Thor can get struck by lightning. Doesn't really look like it. At least he lived. Let's spawn a bunch of Thors. And let's see if they can defeat Sully. I forgot, they don't fight back. Rip Sully. Let's see if the Thors can defeat the Iron Golem. Dang, the Iron Golem's getting destroyed. He's not even one-shotting the Thors. That was an easy win for the Thor army. Alright, I give Thor an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got lasagna. For this one, I'm going to make Garfield because he loves lasagna. Let's remove all of this and we'll shape his body and head now let's color him fully orange and we'll give him a couple of arms now let's extend his face out a bit and we'll color this lighter orange next let's give him a pink nose and we'll give him some eyes now let's extend his eyelids out a bit and we'll give him his ears now let's give him a tail and finally we'll add black stripes all over his body that looks pretty good let's see it in game yeah that looks like garfield i'm not sure about his walk though since when did garfield learn how to jump like that actually it's not that weird i'm pretty sure cats can jump high i don't know about 
fat cats though. Let's spawn a baby Garfield. Oh yeah. Let's see if Garfield will eat this lasagna. Dang, he ate it in one bite. Let's spawn a bunch of Garfields. I love the noise they make when they hit the ground. Let's watch these Garfields eat a bunch of magma cubes. I think these guys are too big. Wow, the Garfields are devouring these magma cubes. Alright, I give Garfield a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating. And we got Chef. For this one, I think I'm going to make Gordon Ramsay. Let's color his shirt white. And we'll color his pants black. Now let's color his head. And we'll give him some blonde hair. Now let's color his arms. And we'll give him some blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll extend his nose out a bit. Next, let's draw his mouth. And we'll give him a little collar on his shirt. Now let's add the buttons to his shirt. And finally, I'll give him a little chef's hat. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, that doesn't look bad. The textures are always broken. I don't understand why. Honestly, he kind of just looks like a chef, though. He's only Gordon Ramsay if you know he's Gordon Ramsay. Where is he going? Let's see if Gordon Ramsay can cook a five-star meal. Okay, he's going to gather his ingredients like a real chef. Okay, I'm starting to think he just doesn't want to cook. Let's spawn a baby Gordon Ramsay. I wonder if this one can cook. It doesn't look like it. Let's spawn a bunch of Gordon Ramsays. Surely one of these guys knows how to cook. Oh, wow, they're making a steak. That was pretty good. Oh, they're making a chicken, too. Oh, I guess it's done. Wait, guys, this is raw. Oh god, they're all angry at me. Alright, I give Gordon Ramsay an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. What will we get? And we got rainbow. For this one, I'm going to make the blue rainbow friend. Let's make his arms a bit smaller, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his crown, and we'll color it yellow. Next we'll add the spiky parts on top, and we'll add his eyes, and let's put the circle inside this one, and we'll add the X to the other one. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll put the drool on the side, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good, I think. Honestly, I don't even know what Rainbow Friends is. I've just seen a lot of comments telling me to make it. Let's see if Blue can beat Gordon Ramsay. Easily. Let's see if Blue can beat Thor and Gordon Ramsay. Still too easy. Let's see if Blue can beat Sully. Yeah, Blue literally had no chance. Let's spawn an army of Blues. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. I think I spawned a little too many. There's so many of them, they can't even move. Sully's not even fighting back. He knows he's doomed. Never mind. Wow, he actually almost beat them. Well, he almost beat like 3% of them. I'm going to give Blue a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got space. For this one, I think I'll make Buzz Lightyear. Let's color his body white. And we'll add his purple mask. Now let's color the rest of his face. And we'll give him a big smile. Now let's extend his nose out. And we'll give him a couple blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll color the top part of his space suit. Next, let's add the purple lines on the bottom. And we'll add some green lines all around his body. And finally, let's color his shoulders black. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this looks kind of weird. Honestly, it looks like somebody wearing a Buzz Lightyear costume. Let's see if Buzz Lightyear can outrun Gordon Ramsay. Okay, there's two Gordon Ramsays. How did that happen? It's not looking good for Buzz Lightyear. Never mind, he actually managed to get away. Wait, there's another Gordon Ramsay chasing him. Let's see a baby Buzz Lightyear. This is definitely a better size because Buzz Lightyear is a toy. Let's find a Buzz Lightyear village. And here's a bunch of Buzz Lightyears in their natural habitat. There's even a Buzz Lightyear farming over here. And these two are having a conversation. Oh, I think I interrupted them. What happens if I ring the bell? Wait, did I do that? Alright, I give Buzz Lightyear a 10 out of 10. I don't know why, but I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Lord Farquaad. Let's color his shirt red, and we'll give him dark gray pants. Now let's add his red cape, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's color his hands dark orange, and we'll color his head. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll extend out his nose. Now let's give him some green eyes, and we'll give him a couple of eyebrows. Now let's extend out his hair, and we'll add his hat, and we'll color his hat fully red. Now finally, let's add his belt buckle, and I think he looks good. Let's see him in game. That looks pretty good, I guess. I think his head is a little too big, though. Let's see a baby Farquaad. Oh, that's not a thing. Let's see Lord Farquaad versus Buzz Lightyear. Oh god, he has an axe. Lord Farquaad, relax, he did nothing wrong. Buzz Lightyear is actually kind of fast. Alright, that was boring. Let's see if Lord Farquaad can raid this village. Oh no, Blue is angry at him. It seems like Buzz Lightyear is not wearing the right clothes. Oh, and Blue literally just gave up. Lord Farquaad sucks, he hasn't even gotten a kill. Come on, break down the door. Okay, I'm done with this. Alright, I give Lord Farquaad an 8 out of 10 because the textures were kind of messed up. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got family. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Peter Griffin. Let's color in his head. Next, we'll color his shirt white. And we'll give him some green pants. Now let's add his brown hair. And we'll give him a couple of eyes. 
Next, we'll draw his mouth, and we'll extend his nose out a bit, and we'll also extend out his ears. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll color in his arms. Now let's give him a belt, and we'll add a gold belt buckle. Now let's draw the buttons on his shirt, and finally we'll give him some shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. I don't really know what to say about this. Honestly, I think he looks really good, but the actual Peter Griffin looks way different. Let's spawn an army of Peter Griffins, and let's see if these Peter Griffins can defeat Blue. And they don't seem to be doing too good. They keep shooting each other instead of blue. Okay, they actually won. A lot of Peter Griffins were lost though. Let's give them an easier fight. Let's put them against Buzz Lightyear. Okay, one of them somehow died. RIP Buzz Lightyear. Guys, stop pointing the bow at me. Alright, I give Peter Griffin a 9 out of 10. He looks good, but he doesn't look like Peter Griffin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an evoker. Translate, and we got villain. For this one, I think I'll make Gru. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color his shirt dark gray. Next, let's color his pants black, and we'll color in his head. Next, we'll give him some blue eyes, and we'll add some eyebrows on top, and a mouth underneath. Now let's extend his nose out, and we'll color in his hands. Next, let's add the zipper to his shirt. Now let's add his scarf, and we'll extend it down on each side. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Oh my god, what happened to his neck? Other than that, I kinda like him though. Let's see Gru versus Thor. There is a major height difference, which is weird because Gru is approximately 14 feet tall. Okay, I guess they don't want to fight each other. Let's just see Gru fight Buzz Lightyear. It looks like Gru is summoning his minions, although I don't think this is how they look. Let's spawn an army of Grus. Now let's see them kill a Buzz Lightyear. I love seeing all the spikes come out of the ground. Let's see them fight a bunch of Buzz Lightyears. Oh my god, that was the loudest sound in the game. Wait, some of them managed to get away. Oh no, watch out for the Vex. Never mind, he's retreating. Alright, I give Gru a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating, and we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make Waluigi. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll color his shirt purple. Now let's color his head, and we'll give him some big white teeth. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, let's draw his eyebrows, and we'll extend his big nose out, and we'll color it pink. Now let's add his pointy chin, and next we'll add his hat and we'll put the upside down L on top. Now let's color his hands, and we'll add his overalls. Now finally we'll add his orange shoes, and that looks good, let's see it in game. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty accurate. Why is a chunk of the hat missing every time the mob has a hat? Let's spawn an army of Waluigi's, and let's see if they can take down Blue. I don't think they're fighting back. I thought Waluigi was supposed to be a bad Luigi, but he won't even fight. Never mind, this one poisoned him, and he also poisoned himself. It looks like Blue wins this fight. It took the poison like 30 seconds to damage him. Alright, I give Waluigi an 8 out of 10, his face is kinda scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Drowned. What will we get? And we got Trooper. For this one, I think I'll make a Stormtrooper. Let's color the body fully white, and we'll add the black eyes, and we'll also put some gray spots on the head, and we'll also add some lighter gray parts underneath. Next, let's color his shoulders black, and we'll do the same for his hands and other parts of his body, and we'll add a few more details, and I think we're done, let's see it in game. Okay, he doesn't look bad. Oh, I didn't know drowns could burn. That's better. Let's see a baby stormtrooper. I think the baby looks a lot better than the big one. Of course, we have to spawn an army of stormtroopers. Oh, he's got a trident. I wonder how good his aim is with that thing. Oh, this one has a fishing rod. That is the least intimidating weapon. Stormtroopers versus Buzz Lightyear. Yep, he's hitting the other stormtroopers with the trident. Oh, the babies are getting close. Oh no, Buzz Lightyear is stuck. Why is this guy holding a shell? These guys choose really bad weapons. Alright, I give the stormtrooper an 8 out of 10. He turned out how I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate, and we got Bug. I think for this one, I'll make Bugs Bunny. Let's color his body gray, and we'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now let's make his ears a bit bigger, and we'll color the bottom of his head white, and we'll do the same to his hands, and we'll color his belly white as well. Now let's color his ears, and we'll give him a couple of eyes, with little black pupils. Now let's extend his front teeth out a bit, and we'll draw some little whiskers on the side, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Why are his eyes crooked? I really don't know how that happens. Honestly, he's way too small to be Bugs Bunny anyway. Let's see what the baby looks like. Honestly, the baby looks better. Let's give Bugs Bunny a carrot. Okay, it's not possible. Good. Baby Bugs Bunny cannot stop eating carrots. What are you looking at? You don't get any more. I wonder if Bugs Bunny likes golden carrots. 
Yep, he also likes golden carrots. What about rabbit stew? He's not a fan. Let's spot a bunch of Bugs Bunnies. And let's watch them all chase me. You don't get any carrots. Go away. Alright, I give Bugs Bunny a 7 out of 10 because he was broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Shaggy. Let's make his head smaller. And we'll give him a neck. Next, let's color his shirt green. And we'll color in his arms as well. Now let's make his legs a little bigger. And we'll give him red pants. Now let's color his neck. And we'll extend his hair out a bit. Now let's give him a couple of eyes. And we'll add some eyebrows on top. Now let's extend his nose out a bit. And we'll give him a little smile. Now finally, let's give him a couple of shoes. And that looks good. Let's see him in game. Yep, the texture is messed up like always. And honestly, this doesn't even really look like Shaggy. Shaggy versus Scooby. I'm pretty sure they don't fight. This is weird. Run, Shaggy. Oh god. Maybe he'll calm down for a Scooby snack. Nope, rip Shaggy. Let's spawn a Shaggy army. Now let's see them fight a wolf. Come on, there's so many of you and you're still running. Oh, it looks like the wolf wants Bugs Bunny instead. Alright, I give Shaggy a 5 out of 10. He was very broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? And we got lost. For this one, I think I'm going to make Dory. Let's delete the legs, and we'll change the shape of her body and head. Now let's color her body blue, and we'll color in her fins. Now let's color this thing blue, and we'll color her tail thing black and yellow. Now let's add some black spots on her body, and we'll give her a couple of eyes, and we'll make her eyes purple. Now finally, let's give her a little smile, and I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look bad. At least it looks better than when I made Nemo. Let's spawn one underwater instead. I don't know why the fins are floating. I'm pretty sure Dory is already in the game. Oh, Dory is a cannibal, I guess. And Dory literally only ate the imposter. Let's catch Dory in a bucket. Wait, this is how finding Dory begins. I'm sorry, Dory. Swim back to the ocean. Dory is not taking my advice. Let's spawn an army of Dorys. Oh yeah, I forgot they would eat all the fish. Whatever, Dory looks better anyways. Dory is literally swimming on air. Alright, I give Dory a 7 out of 10. She could have looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate. And we got Salamander. For this one, I think I'm going to make Charmander. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll change his body shape a bit. Now let's make his mouth look open, and we'll color the back of his mouth pink. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple nostrils as well. Now let's add a couple of teeth, and we'll add his belly patch. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll add his tail. Now let's put the flame on top of his tail, and finally we'll give him some tiny eyebrows. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, this just doesn't look like Charmander. I think this is the Digimon version, honestly. He looks kind of like the car insurance guy. And of course, the texture is broken in random places. Let's see a baby Charmander. I don't know why I always try to spawn a baby creeper. Let's spawn a Charmander army. Now let's see if Charmander can defeat an enemy Squirtle. Wow, this fight is amazing. Pokeball test. Nope. Let's see the supercharged Charmander. How is he burning? He's literally a fire Pokemon. This is probably the best the charge has looked on any custom creeper. Charmander, use self-destruct. Oh no, he killed the other charged creeper. Wait, that dropped a creeper head though. Alright, I give Charmander a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of strange. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate. And we got turtle. For this one, I think we'll make Bowser. Let's extend out his body, and we'll shrink his arms. Now let's color his body yellow, and we'll add his mouth. Next, let's color his head green, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll color the inside of his mouth. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his horns on the side of his head. Now let's add his hair, and we'll color in his belly. Next, let's add his shell, and we'll put the spikes on his shell. Now we'll add a bit more detail, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. Ignore the low effort spikes on his back. But other than that, he definitely looks like Bowser. Let's spawn more Bowsers. Let's see the Bowser army versus a bunch of zombies. Oh no, this Bowser is getting targeted. Okay, that was too easy. What about Bowser army versus the Warden? Dang, they're not even letting the Warden move. Oh no, one of the Bowsers died. The zombie is trying to help him. Okay, they beat the Warden as well. Let me just fix you guys up a bit. Alright, I'm going to give Bowser a 9 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I'm going to make King DDD. Let's shrink his body, and we'll move his head. Now let's color him blue, and we'll color his feet yellow. Now let's add his beak, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's color his mouth, and we'll add his shirt thing around his body. Now let's add his coat, and next let's give him some arms, and we'll make his hammer. Now let's add his hat, and finally let's add the white part on the back. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I can't believe that this is a pig, it looks so different. I honestly think this one turned out really good. Let's see a baby DDD. Okay, what is with baby pigs and floating heads? We'll just pretend that baby pigs don't exist. 
Let's spawn an army of King DDDs. Okay, we have to get rid of the babies. And now let's ride a King DDD. This is really weird. I love how the other ones are just following me as well. I think they are trying to kill me with the mallet. Guys, relax, I'm one of you. Alright, I give King DDD an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a warden. What will we get? And we got figure. For this one, we have to make figure from Roblox stores. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll do the same on his arms. Now let's make his head smaller, and we'll color him a brownish color. Now let's make the circle on his head, and we'll make the outside a bit more circular. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll color the back a bit darker. Now let's add the bones on his chest, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks really good. We'll just ignore that his legs look really weird when he walks. But other than that, he looks good. Let's go find figure in the deep dark. Usually it's Seek rising out of the ground, this is so weird. Let's spawn even more figures. And now let's see if they can beat an army of Bowsers. Okay, there's way too many of them. They are destroying the Bowsers. Oh, at least the Bowsers killed one of them. Let's get chased by the figure army. Okay, this is way scarier than the Warden. Yeah, I literally had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give figure a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate. And we just got G. I guess we'll make G from alphabet lore. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him into a little rectangle. Now let's color him purplish, and we'll extend this part out. And now let's add this part, and we'll add a longer part on the back. Now let's rotate it in the middle like this, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's give him a mouth. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is he flying? Honestly, I don't even think he looks that bad while he's flying. So we'll just pretend that this was intentional. What about a baby G? Yep, he's still flying. This is so weird. Let's go find G in the nether. Okay, he's still flying in the nether. That's interesting. Let's ride a G. Yeah, this is definitely not normal. Let's spawn an army of Gs. Oh, and there's even some Gs with pigmen on top. Follow me, G army. At least the babies don't really look like they're flying anymore. Alright, I'm going to give G a 7 out of 10. He wasn't supposed to fly. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating. And we got Ray. For this one, I think I'm going to make Man Ray. Let's make his legs bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color his head blue. Now let's color his body red. Next, let's give him some eyes, and a mouth, and now we'll add the things on top of his head, and we'll add his neck, and let's extend it out on the sides like this, and I'm actually going to change his eyes. Now let's give him his underwear, and we'll add the lock on his belt, now let's give him some gloves, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. I don't think his head is supposed to move like that though. Let's spawn a baby man ray. Why do I keep thinking there's baby skeletons? Let's spawn more man rays, and let's see if they can defeat Bowser. Bowser. Yeah, they're all shooting each other. At least Bowser is taking some damage. I think it's still possible for them to win. And they actually did it. Okay, they're still fighting each other. Alright, I give Man Ray a 9 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got long. For this one, I'm going to make Ferb because he has a long head. Let's make his arms smaller, and we'll extend his head out a ton. Now let's color his head in, and we'll give him purple pants, and let's color his shirt as well. Now let's add his nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him some green hair. Now let's draw his shirt, and we'll add his belt. Now finally, we'll give him some shoes, and we're done. Let's see Ferb in game. Oh, he has a flag. Okay, he doesn't look that bad, but I don't remember Ferb being hostile. Why is he aiming a bow at me? Let's spawn an army of Ferbs. Okay guys, chill, stop aiming at me. Now let's see if the Ferb army can beat Bowser. If the Man Rays could do it, then the Ferb army should have no problem. Okay, Bowser is already kinda low. I'm sorry, Bowser. Yeah, they did way better than the Man Rays. Now let's see if I can beat the Ferb army. I actually might be able to, they can't hit me. Oh, one of them actually died. They're actually all killing each other. Okay, I'm dead, they started hitting me. Alright, I'm going to give Ferb a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got pig, that's weird. For this one, I think I'll make Peppa Pig. Let's make her body super flat, and we'll move her head and flatten it. Now let's make her body curve up, and we'll color in her shirt. Now let's color her head, and we'll move her ears. Now let's add her nose, and let's give her some eyes, and we'll draw her mouth underneath. Now let's outline her face, and we'll also outline her shirt. And now let's add her shoes, and we'll give her some arms. Now finally, let's draw her tail, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, this looks really strange. I think it's the fact that she's supposed to be 2D in a 3D game. Also, her head moves really weird, and so do her feet. Okay. 
Let's spawn a baby Peppa. At least it doesn't have a floating head like the pigs, but it still looks cursed. Let's spawn an army of Peppas. I wonder if I can get them to follow me. Okay, this is really weird. I love how her arms just don't move, but the rest of her body does. Get out of here, sheep. Alright, I'm going to give Peppa Pig a 5 out of 10. She does not look good in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translating. And we got smart. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mega Mind. Let's add a lower part on his head. And we'll color his head blue. Now let's color his body black. And we'll give him some eyes. And a mouth. And we'll add his nose. Now let's add some blue parts to his shirt. And we'll give him a cape. Now let's add the cape around his neck. And finally we'll add his shoes. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with his arms. I've never seen this happen before. This is so weird. But other than that, I don't think he looks that bad. He kind of reminds me of when I made Squidward. Let's spawn a baby Megamind. Aw, oh, I was hoping his head would be really big. Let's find a Megamind village. And here we have a bunch of Megaminds and Bowser in their natural habitat. Let's see if Megamind can beat Ferb. Oh wait, Bowser is helping him, that's not fair. Alright, now this is a fair fight. Well, I don't know about fair. Megamind has no weapons. But maybe he can beat him with his massive brain. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm going to give Megamind a 7 out of 10. His arms are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pie. For this one, I'll make Pac-Man, because he's shaped like a pie. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's make his mouth open, and we'll color his head yellow. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a big nose. Now let's give him some shoes, and we'll add his arms, and finally let's color his hands. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, this looks interesting. I don't think his arms look that good because they're frozen. And he doesn't really look like Pac-Man because he isn't a circle. But there are no circles in Minecraft, so that's fine. Let's see a supercharged Pac-Man. Oh no, he's going to burn. Alright, this just doesn't fit him at all. Let's spawn an army of Pac-Mans. And let's see if they can defeat this cat. Nope, they're all running away. I guess this cat is the same thing as a ghost. I wonder what Pac-Man looks like when he explodes. Is he supposed to be able to do that? Alright, I'm going to give Pac-Man a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like him. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a salmon. Translate. And we got carp. For this one, I'm going to make Magikarp. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll color him orange. Now let's color in his fins, and we'll color his back fin white. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his mouth. Next, let's add his whiskers, and we'll give him a few fins on the side. And that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, I should probably spawn him in water. Honestly, I'm surprised with how this turned out. He looks really good. I'm not sure why I translated a salmon though. Let's spawn a Magikarp army. Is there a baby salmon? No, there isn't. I wonder if these guys will fight an axolotl. No, but the axolotl will fight them. Let's try to grow him into a Gyarados. Okay, this isn't working. I guess Magikarp is boring in Minecraft as well. I almost forgot the Pokeball test. This doesn't even make sense. How am I throwing snowballs in water? Alright, I'm going to give Magikarp an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but he's boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Hoglin. Translating, and we got Dinosaur. For this one, I think I'll make Rex from Toy Story. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's color him green, and we'll give him a neck. Now let's make his mouth look like it's open, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll give him some eyes, and some nostrils. Now let's add his tiny arms, and we'll color his belly. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think that looks fine. Let's see him in game. Okay, why is he shaking? Oh yeah, I have to go to the nether. That's better. Okay, his head is definitely not connected to his neck, but honestly, he could have looked worse. Let's see a baby Rex. Okay, the head problem is even worse. Let's spawn an army of Rexes, and now let's see if they can beat Bowser. Okay, they aren't fighting him. Never mind, they're fighting him now. Okay, I think I spawned a few too many for Bowser to have a chance. What about Rex army versus figure? Oh my god, they're surrounding him. Okay, the Rex army couldn't beat figure, but it was actually close. Alright, I'm going to give Rex a 6 out of 10. He's a little bit broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got bear. For this one, I'm going to make Yogi Bear. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him a green hat. Now let's add his tie, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. Let's see a baby Yogi Bear. This could be Boo Boo. 
Let's spawn an army of Yogi Bears. Now let's see if they can beat Bowser. I've put Bowser against way too many armies. I feel bad. And it looks like the Yogi Bears are gonna win. Yeah, that was too easy for the Yogi Bears. Now let's see if the Yogi Bears can kill Megamind. Oh, Megamind has desert clothes on. I don't think they're gonna be able to catch him. Yeah, Megamind is just too fast. Wait, no, don't go back. That wasn't very smart of Megamind. Alright, I'm going to give Yogi Bear an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make the purple rainbow friend. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now let's color him purple, and we'll make his weird looking legs. Now let's give him some toes, and we'll copy that to the other side. Next, let's add his arms, and we'll give him a few fingers. Now let's extend out his head, and we'll make it a little bit round. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add some black pupils inside. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Out of all the mobs to break, somehow this one isn't broken. Surprisingly, I think he looks really good. Okay, these vines need to get out of the way. What about a baby purple? Oh yeah, frogs don't have babies. Let's see purple eat this slime. Never mind, he's not hungry. Oh, never mind, he just attacked him. He looks so weird when he's swimming. Let's spawn an army of purples. Wow, purple jumps so high. The noise they make is really interesting. Let's see if purple can take down orange. Okay, I don't think purple knows how to fight. Let's spawn a bunch of slimes. Okay, they're all too big. I love how there's no animation, the slime just travels to their mouth. Alright, I'm going to give purple a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Crash. For this one, I'm going to make Crash Bandicoot. Let's color him lighter orange, and we'll extend his ears out a bit. Now let's add his teeth, and we'll give him a little nose. Now let's color his neck area lighter orange, and we'll extend this down to his belly. Now let's give him a couple eyes, and we'll add his eyebrows. Next, let's draw his pants, and we'll give him some shoes. And now let's add his gloves, and finally we'll give him some hair. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see him in game. Oh, that's not right. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I honestly can't tell if this looks good or not, actually. Why is he going in the water? Let's see a baby crash. Oh my god, his head is so big. Come on, sit down, I know you want to. Okay, never mind, I guess he wants to kill these chickens. Yo, he's trying to trick shot them. I wonder what he looks like with speed 2. Oh, he's sitting now. Yo, he is so fast with speed 2. Let's spawn a crash bandicoot army. And let's see them all try to kill this chicken. They're so confused, they have no idea how to get up. Let's help them out. Oh my god, they all jumped at the same time. Alright, I give Crash Bandicoot an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translating. And we got I. For this one, I think I'll make eyes from Roblox stores. Let's delete all this, and we'll completely change his shape. Now let's color it dark purple, and we'll make the body circular. Now let's extend it out a bit on the sides, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll make a bunch of different color pupils. Now let's extend out the sides a bit more, and that doesn't actually look that bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is this thing chasing me? I don't know what to say about this one. It looks kind of scary. Let's spawn a baby eyes. Okay, that's not as bad. Let's spawn an army of eyes. It looks kind of like an army of viruses. Let's see if the eyes army can kill me. They're just slowly chasing me. This is so weird. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It looks like an army of futuristic security drones. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Alright, I'm going to give eyes an 8 out of 10. It looks really weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translate. And we got Link. For this one, I'm going to make Link. Let's color his shirt green, and we'll color his pants white. Now let's color his head, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his hat, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's extend his shirt over his legs, and finally we'll add some shoes. Alright, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, he looks alright. I don't really think his face turned out that good, honestly. Let's go find him in the nether. Okay, yeah, this looks really bad. What about Baby Link? Yeah, that's not much better. Let's spawn an army of links. Wait, why are they all running away? Oh, I think they're scared of the zombie piglin. At least they look a bit better with swords. Let's get chased by the link army. Okay, they're all killing each other. Oh my god, there's so much fire over here. Now all the links are burning. Alright, I'm going to give Link a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate, and we got Squirrel. For this one, I think I'm going to make Sandy from Spongebob. Let's color her body white, and we'll make her head smaller. Next, let's extend out her cheeks, and we'll color her head. Now let's give her some eyes, and we'll add her mouth. Next, let's draw her squirrel teeth, and we'll give her a nose. Next, let's add her ears, and we'll add her helmet. Now let's draw the flower on her helmet, and we'll draw the acorn on her shirt. Now let's give her a tail, and finally we'll add her shoes. 
Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in-game. Honestly, that looks pretty good. I'm surprised nothing went wrong. Her helmet is a little small, but honestly, she looks really good. Let's see a baby Sandy. Definitely a better size for a squirrel. Let's spawn an army of Sandys. And let's see if they can beat a zombie villager. I don't think Sandy really wants to fight it. Even though they ran away, the Sandys still won the fight. Let's bring Sandy to her home underwater. Wait, how is she drowning? She has her helmet on. I guess squirrels don't belong underwater. Alright, I'm going to give Sandy a 9 out of 10. She turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating. And we got egg. For this one, I'm going to make Dr. Eggman. Let's extend out his body, and we'll make his legs a bit smaller. Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll add the goggles on his forehead. Now let's give him some gloves, and we'll add some extra details to his shirt. Now let's extend his shirt down a bit, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think we're done, let's see him in game. Honestly, he turned out really good. Nothing is broken on him too, what is going on? Dr. Eggman vs. Tails, who will win? Okay, I don't think they fight. Let's see if Dr. Eggman can stop this zombie from eating Sandy. Okay, that was too fast. Now let's see if Dr. Eggman is strong enough to beat the Warden. Okay, Dr. Eggman isn't that strong. Let's spawn an army of Dr. Eggmans. Now let's see if this army can beat the Warden. Okay, they're pushing him in the water. Dang, the Warden is going crazy. Okay, the Warden just forgot how to hit them. Alright, I'm going to give Dr. Eggman a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Alien. For this one, I think I'll make the Alien from Toy Story. Let's shrink his body, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's color his head green, and we'll give him three eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him some ears, and we'll also add the thing on his head. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the logo on his shirt. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add his fingers. Now finally, we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in-game. Okay, surprisingly, this actually worked. His body is a little bit glitchy, but I think he turned out really good. Now let's see if the baby is broken. Okay, we'll just pretend that this doesn't exist. Like, why is his head floating? Let's spawn an army of aliens, and now let's see them chase me. This is kind of scary, they're moving fast. What if I give them speed too? Oh my god, they're way too fast, I'm going to get abducted. This is way too cursed, Mojang, please never add this. To be fair, I don't know why they would. Alright, I'm going to give the alien a 10 out of 10, he was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got alphabet. For this one, I think I'm going to make F from alphabet lore. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll drag this up. Now let's color him black, and we'll add another line facing horizontal. Now let's copy this down, and we'll give him some teeth. Now let's add his eye, and we'll rotate his other eye. Now I think I'm going to make his eyelids a bit bigger, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, that actually looks kind of good. He doesn't even look too bad when he's moving. Even his jumping doesn't look that bad. Let's see if F can swim. Oh, he's swimming fast. Let's watch F eat the slime. Okay, he trickshotted him. Now let's spawn an army of Fs. They all keep jumping. Now let's spawn more slimes and watch them eat them. Why does it always spawn big slimes? Okay, it doesn't look that cool when they eat them. Alright, I'm going to give F a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating. And we got door. For this one, I'll make ambush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all the legs. And we'll shrink down his body. Now let's shape his body a little bit. And we'll color him white. And we'll give him some eyes. And a mouth. Next, we'll add his teeth. And we'll add some green spots to his face. Now we'll color the bottom of him darker green. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god, this is scary. He keeps coming towards me. Let's go find ambush in the nether. Okay, I don't see any ambushes flying around in here. Honestly, I think this is better than the actual ghast. Let's spawn a baby ambush. Okay, why did I think there's a baby ghast? Let's spawn an army of ambushes. Okay, this is way too many. If I saw this, I would never go to the nether again. Let's try to fight the ambush army. Oh, I actually killed one. Okay, I'm literally just stuck in this cave. Alright, I'm going to give ambush a 9 out of 10. He was very scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. 
what will we get? And we got adventure. For this one, I'm going to make Finn from Adventure Time. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color it white. Now let's color his shirt blue, and we'll color his legs darker blue. Next, let's draw his face, and we'll give him some eyes, and a little smile. Now let's add his ears, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's color his legs as well, and we'll give him some shoes. Now let's add his backpack, and we'll color it green. And finally, let's add some straps. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Oh, we spawned in an amethyst cave. Honestly, this actually looks pretty good. Somehow, I'm pretty sure there still hasn't been a broken mob this entire video. Let's spawn an army of fins. Okay, I can't take him seriously with the bow, he just doesn't look hostile. Let's see if the fin army can beat Dr. Eggman. Of course, they're all shooting each other. Okay, Dr. Eggman is taking some damage, but will it be enough to kill him? Dang, the Finn army actually won. I guess I underestimated their bow skills. Alright, I'm going to give Finn a 9 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate. And we got mushroom. For this one, I think I'll make a Goomba. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll give him a few legs. Now let's color his legs brown, and we'll color his stem a lighter brown. Now let's add his head, and we'll make it curve up a little bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we will add his angry eyebrows. Next, let's give him a mouth, and finally we'll add a few teeth. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Wait, where did he go? Oh yeah, silverfish like to go into the stone. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't really have a walking animation, but I guess that's okay. I think he really likes this wall. I'm trying to stomp on him, but it's not working. This must be a special Goomba. Let's spawn an army of Goombas. Mario better watch out, this is a lot of Goombas. Let's see if they can defeat Dr. Eggman, cause that's the closest thing we have to Mario. It's not looking like they have any chance of winning. Although this one is really good at running. Wait, how did he kill him from there? Yeah, Goomba is probably not the strongest Minecraft mob. Alright, I'm going to give Goomba an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Red. For this one, I'm going to make the Red Red rainbow friend. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll give him some arms. Next, let's color his body white, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's give him a head, and we'll color his head red. Next, let's make his head a bit round, and we'll give him some eyes, and let's color his pupils black. Now let's draw the shirt under his lab coat, and we'll add his tie. Now let's give him some hands, and finally we'll give him a couple shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs. But other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether. And here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. What will we get? And we got Fighter. For this one, I think I'll make Goku. Let's color his body orange, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll extend his hair out on the sides, and we'll do the same on the top. Now let's color the neck of his shirt blue, and we'll also add his belt. Now let's color his arms, and we'll draw the symbol on his chest. Next, let's add a bit more details to his arms, and finally we'll give him some shoes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, that is definitely not what we want. Like, seriously, how does this even happen? Okay, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know about better. His face looks kind of weird. Let's see if Goku can catch Sandy. Dang, Sandy is really fast. Oh, he finally got her. I was about to give up. Let's spawn an army of Gokus. And now let's see if they can beat Dr. Eggman. Okay, Goku is way too powerful. Dr. Eggman had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give Goku a 7 out of 10. He could have looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got fire. For this one, I'm going to make Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, and we'll turn these spikes into his ears. Now let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. Next, let's color the sides of his wings orange, and we'll make these gray parts orange as well, and we'll make the black parts dark aqua. Now let's color his belly lighter orange, and we'll add his tail. Now let's color the bottom of his tail, and finally we'll add some fire to the end of his tail. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Although I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in block bench. Also his neck looks different as well, that's so weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. 
Alright, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perching. Just imagine he's breathing fire right now. Alright, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Seek. For this one, I think we have to make Seek from Roblox stores. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's also shrink his legs, and we'll make his arms smaller as well. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's draw his eye, and we'll expand his face out on the side a little bit. Finally, let's add some red spots on his body, and we'll put a few on his legs. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. We'll just act like I didn't forget to texture the bottom of the head. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. I think his proportions are kind of off though. Yo, why is he attacking the sheep? What did the sheep do? Let's find Seek in the deep dark. And of course, we'll watch him emerge from the ground. Oh, he's kind of stuck in a block. This would be way more terrifying than the warden. Imagine you're walking around in a cave and then you see this thing chasing you. Let's spawn an army of Seeks. And let's see if they can defeat the Wither. Oh no, they're already surrounding the Wither. Oh my god, the Wither is getting launched. Yeah, the Wither literally has no chance. I don't think the Wither even killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Seek an 8 out of 10. He could have been better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Creeper. What will we get? And we got Penguin. For this one, I think I'm going to make one of the Penguins of Madagascar. Let's remove his head and back legs. Now let's make his body bigger, and we'll color his body white. Now let's color his feet orange, and we'll extend his head out a bit. Now let's color his sides and back black, and we'll add a bit more detail on his head. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll extend out his beak. Now let's color his beak orange, and we'll extend it out a bit more. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color his arms black. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he actually looks kinda good. For some reason his face seems really accurate. Although I don't think penguins live in the jungle, we should bring him somewhere colder. This is much better. Let's spawn an army of penguins. And of course we have to see a supercharged penguin. How are you on fire with all the snow around you? Honestly, you can barely even see the charge because of the snow. Let's blow up a penguin. Rip the bunny. I wonder if the penguins can beat a cat. Okay, the cat isn't even chasing them. This is stupid. Alright, I'm going to give the penguin an 8 out of 10. I think he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got Sasquatch. For this one, I think I'll make Chewbacca. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll extend out the bottom of his face a bit. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a nose, and we'll add his mouth underneath. Now let's add the strap across his chest, and we'll do the same on his back. Next, let's make some parts of his body darker brown, and we'll add some detail to his head. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, something about him looks kind of weird. I think his mouth looks more like a dog than anything. Although, I'm pretty sure Chewbacca is part dog or something, so I don't know. Let's spawn a baby Chewbacca. Okay, I don't really like his big head. Let's spawn an army of Chewbaccas. And let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, I don't think the Chewbaccas are fighting Seek. What about Chewbacca army versus Dr. Eggman? Dr. Eggman is getting destroyed. Dr. Eggman was no match for the Chewbacca army. Alright, I'm going to give Chewbacca an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. Translating. And we got orange. For this one, I think I'm going to make the orange rainbow friend. Let's change the shape of his tail. And we'll also make his body smaller. Now let's color him orange. And we'll rotate his body. Next, let's make his legs smaller. And we'll finish his tail. Now let's give him some arms. And let's make his mouth look like it's open. Next, we'll color the inside of his mouth. And we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Now let's give him some eyes. And finally, we'll give him some fingers and toes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges. And let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange. Take down the warden. Oh no, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to give orange a 6 out of 10. He was kinda cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Cookie. For this one, I'm going to make Cookie Monster. Let's make his arms bigger, and we'll also make his legs bigger. Now let's extend out his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's make his head a bit bigger, and we'll make his mouth look like it's open. Now let's color the back of his mouth black, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him some feet, and finally we'll give him some fingers. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. He needs to put down the bow though. I wonder if I can give him a cookie to make him stop. 
It doesn't look like he's interested in my cookies. What if we give him a Sandy instead? Okay, Cookie Monster's aim is really bad. Come on, Cookie Monster, you can do it. Okay, that was a nice shot. Dang, never mind. Cookie Monster, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Let's spawn an army of Cookie Monsters. Now let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, nobody wants to fight Seek. Let's see if they can beat Orange. Okay, Orange didn't even have a chance. At least he killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Cookie Monster a 7 out of 10. He was kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate. And we got Tree. For this one, I think I'll make Groot. Let's make his body a bit bigger. And we'll do the same for his arms. And his legs. Now let's color his body brown. And we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's color his head as well. And we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him a mouth. And we'll add the branches to his head. Now let's add the branches on his shoulder. And we'll give his body some green details. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, this is one of the worst mobs I've made yet. He just literally has no detail. Okay, he's stealing the grass block. Wait, where is he going? Let's go find Groot in the end. Okay, there's way too many Groots in here. I wonder what he looks like when he's angry. Okay, it's just the usual floating head. Let's get chased by an army of Groots. I gotta heal to full health first. Okay, how are they already hitting me? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Groot army, relax, I'm sorry. Charizard, please help me. Okay, they caught me. Alright, I'm going to give Groot a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good in Minecraft. The first mob is a warden. Translate. And we got 10 demons. For this one, I think I'm gonna make a 10-headed demon. Let's start by deleting some of the stuff we don't need. And then I'm gonna make this part of his body a little smaller. Now let's add another part on the bottom. And we'll start to give him some new feet. And let's copy it over to the other side. Now we'll start to give him some new arms. And we'll give him some hands on the bottom as well. And now it's time to start working on his heads. Let's start by making this cube a lot smaller. And we'll give him an ear like this. Now let's start to shape the bottom of his head a little more demon-like, and finally we'll give him some eyes. And now we need to color this guy in, because obviously we aren't going to use these colors. So let's color his whole body light red, and we'll color his eyes a lightish yellow. Now let's give him some brown eyebrows right here, and we'll give him some scary teeth like this. And now let's just add a bit of texture all around his head, and let's copy this head all around his body until he has 10 heads. Okay, so we only have 6 heads, but it's all we can fit, so it's going to be a 6-headed demon instead. Alright, now let's add a cloth type thing so he has some pants, and we'll just start adding some texture all around his body. Now let's add a belt on top of his clothes. And finally, we'll add a bit more texture. And I think this guy is looking really good. Let's see him in game. This is how the six-headed demon looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I also added a fire trail when he walks, as you can see, and that makes him look especially cool. The six-headed demon is really powerful, and he gives you potion effects before he even attacks you. Then when you get attacked by him, it sets you on fire and summons a lightning bolt as well. So basically, killing this guy is going to be really difficult, just like the actual war. The six-headed demon also comes in two colors, as there is a soul fire demon as well. Although I think the red one looks a lot better. If you right-click the six-headed demon, he gets really angry as you can see, but I'm pretty sure that's just his reaction to you not subscribing. Overall, I think the six-headed demon looks really good, and he's probably one of my favorite mobs of all time. So because of that, I'm obviously gonna give him a 10 out of 10, he's just too good. Next, we'll translate a villager. What will we get? And we got one day. One day that's coming up is Halloween, so I think I'm gonna make a reaper with a pumpkin. Head. Let's delete some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll make his legs a little bit smaller. Now let's move his body up, and we'll make his legs longer as well. Next, let's give him a neck, and we'll start giving him some new legs. Now let's give him a shoe like this, and that's looking pretty good, so let's work on his arms. Let's bend his arms out like this, and we'll give him a little hand on the end of it, and now let's copy this over to the other side. Next, let's work on his pumpkin head. We'll shape the head into a pumpkin like this, and next we'll start to add a carved out face on his head as well. Now let's add a little stem on top, and this is looking pretty good, so let's give him some color. First, we'll color his shirt black, and we'll do the same for his pants. Now, let's color the pumpkin completely orange, and we'll color the stem green as well. Now, I'm gonna overlay his shirt a bit to make it look kind of torn up, and we'll do this on the arms as well. Now, finally, let's add his reaper scythe, and this guy's looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the Halloween guy looks in game. That's what I ended up naming him, Halloween guy. But yeah, he actually looks pretty good. I will say the shaders make his clothes look a little bit boring, though. There was way more color in block bench. But to make up for it, I made him make witch noises, which makes him seem pretty scary. The witch noises aren't the only scary thing, though, because when the Halloween guy sees you, he instantly turns it to night and strikes lightning all around him. His attack is also pretty scary, as he literally just teleports around you until you're dead. The good news is, he's not nearly as powerful as the six-headed demon, though. He gets two shot by him. If you kill the Halloween guy, he drops his scythe, which is definitely not just an iron hoe. It's the scythe that he's holding for sure. And overall, I think the Halloween guy definitely looks good, and his abilities fit him really well, so because 
because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The next mob is a pillager. Let's translate this. And we got It Was Terrible. The first time I made one of these videos, I made Sonic and it looked really bad, so I think I'm gonna make Sonic. So first, let's make his body a little bit smaller. And next, we'll completely change the shape of his legs like this. Now let's give him his shoes as well. And we'll rotate this leg a little bit more and copy it over to the other side. Now let's make his arms a lot more skinny like this. And we'll rotate this part up a bit and also give him a hand. And I think this body looks good, so now let's move on to his head. First, we'll add a little mouth area like this. And we'll add the rest of his head on the back like this. Now let's add an area for his eyes on the top. And we'll also give him a nose. Alright, now let's give him some ears on the top. And we'll just add his hair on the back as well. And we'll copy this hair over to the other side. Okay, now I think it's time to give this guy some color. So let's color most of his body this blue color. And then we'll color some of his body parts a different color as well. Now let's give him some white hands. And we'll also color part of his shoes. And let's make the other part of his shoes red like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes. And we'll just add a little bit of texture all around his body. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sonic looks in game. He looks way better than the original Sonic I made. Sonic is also really fast, obviously, and I gave him a Sonic-like animation when he runs. It's basically just a Naruto run, but we'll just ignore that. When Sonic attacks an enemy, I also gave him an animation of him rolling up into a ball, which looks especially cool if he's hunting for coins. Ignore what happens when you put a bunch of coins in a row, though. This is weird. If you kill Sonic, he drops Sonic boots, which when worn, gives you speed 4, basically turning you into Sonic. This is also what happens if you hold out one of these rings, so Sonic adds a lot of speed to the game. Sonic is also able to beat the Halloween guy in a fight, which is not really what I expected. I thought he would do worse. The six-headed demon is still undefeated, though, and probably will be for a while. Overall, I think Sonic looks pretty good in game, so I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a piglin. What will we get? And we got feel tired. If you feel tired, it's probably your bedtime, so I'm going to make a clock man. Let's start by removing his ears, and I'm gonna split his legs into two like this, and I'll also bend them as well. Now let's give him a shoe, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll also bend his arm a little bit, and we'll copy this to the other side too. Now this body is looking good, so let's work on his head. First, we'll give him a neck to connect it to his body, and we'll make this cube a lot bigger, because this is where the clocks will be. Now let's also add his hat on top like this, and I think that's looking good, so it's time to color him in. I'm going to color his body dark gray like this, and we'll make it slightly darker for his pants. Now let's color his shoes and his hat as well, and finally we'll color the clock this color for now. And now it's time to start adding the clock. And let's add the hands on it like this. Now we'll add a few more details to his suit, and we'll give him a trench coat like this. And let's add a belt over top as well. Now finally let's give this guy some texture. And I think that turned out good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the clock man in game. It turns out he is a large clock man, so I made sure I changed that on his boss bar. But he does look pretty cool in game, although his head is kind of big compared to the rest of his body. When the clock man gets in a fight, he changes the time of day every time he hits an enemy. This ends up making it really weird when he fights the Halloween guy. The clock man also drops a suspicious clock when he dies, and if you right click the suspicious clock, you can instantly change the time of day as well. This definitely is way too OP of an item though, as it basically makes beds useless. But it's still cool because it mimics his attack. But yeah, that's all there really is to the clock man. There aren't many features that come with him. I still think he looks pretty good though, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got bathroom. For this one, I think I'm going to combine a toilet with a zombie. So first, let's change his body into the base of a toilet, and we'll start to build the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's add the toilet seat right here, and we'll also add the back of the toilet. Okay, now that the toilet is done, we need to connect his body parts to the toilet. So first, I'm just going to give him a bigger leg like this, and we'll copy this over to the other side. And now let's make his arm a little bit different, and we'll rotate it to the side so it doesn't clip through his leg. Now let's copy that to the other side as well, and it's time to work on his head. I want to make his head look like it's made out of water. So let's make the shape of a mouth like this, and we'll give him some water drops on the side, and also some eyes over top. Alright, now it's time to add some color, so let's color the toilet completely white, and we'll color his head blue to match the toilet water. Now let's color in his mouth and his eyes, and we'll also recolor all the zombie parts because they look a little messed up. Now let's change the color of his hands to match his head, and finally let's give him some texture. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see how it looks in game. This is how the toilet zombie looks in game, I can't tell if it looks good or bad. I think it's just the default zombie clothes, they don't really match the hands and the head. The toilet zombie is also somehow really fast, which makes no sense because I'm pretty sure I made him slow. And if you kill the toilet zombie, instead of dropping rotten flesh, he drops wet flesh. Which even though it seems cursed, it only gives you water breathing, so it's actually kind of useful. There is also a king zombie, which is way more powerful than the default ones. The king toilet also shoots water balls at you, which may seem like it isn't dangerous, but that is definitely not the case. If you kill a king toilet zombie, he drops a king's crown. 
brown, which is definitely not an item from one of my previous videos. It's also not supposed to be red. I don't know what happened. But overall, I think the toilet zombies are a pretty cool addition to the game. So because of that, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a skeleton. What will we get? And we got in Belgium. I'm pretty sure they invented waffles in Belgium. So let's make a waffle, man. Let's start by removing all this stuff. And we'll move his arms away because we don't need these right now. Now let's shape the middle part into a waffle like this. And we'll just add a little bit of detail to make sure this looks like a waffle. Now let's make the top part of his arm a little bit bigger like this. And we'll add a bottom part to his arm as well. And let's copy this arm over to the other side. And now it's time to add some color to our waffle man. First, I'm going to color both of his arms a really dark gray. And we'll also color his body waffle color. I'm going to color the lines on the waffle a little bit darker so they stand out. And now that looks pretty good. So let's just rotate his arms. And I want to make him holding a fork and a knife. So first, let's add a fork in his left hand. And we'll color the fork fully light gray like this. Now let's add a knife in his right hand. Now let's add some texture all around him. And I think this guy looks too plain. So I'm going to give him some eyes like this. And I'll also give him a mouth down here. And finally, let's add some eyebrows on the top. And I think this guy is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the Waffle Man in game. He definitely looks pretty interesting. I especially like how it looks like he's swimming in the air when he flies around. It's pretty funny. The Waffle Man isn't really a hostile mob, but you are able to tame him using cocoa beans, which I picked as an item because of Belgian chocolate because our translate was in Belgium. If your Waffle Man dies, he drops a waffle, which when you eat it gives you strength and regeneration for 15 seconds. That isn't the only feature the Waffle Man has though, as you're able to ride the Waffle Man as well. He is quite slow though, so an elytra is probably better. Overall, I think the Waffle Man didn't turn out that bad, but he's definitely not my favorite, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got glass of milk. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna make a glass of milk. So first, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and let's rotate the body upwards so we can make it into a glass of milk. First, I'm gonna add an outline all around it that is going to be the glass, and we'll just put some parts at the top like this. And next, I wanna make this glass of milk alive, so I'm gonna give him some feet on the bottom, and I'm gonna start working on some arms for him as well. Let's also bend the arm a little bit like this, and we'll copy it over to the other side. And finally, let's just add a straw on the top, and now it's time for us to add some color. First, I'm gonna color the milk in white like this, and I'll make the straw a little bit darker so it doesn't blend in. Now it's time to color the glass, so let's color it a dark bluish color, and we'll also color his arms and legs a really dark gray. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to give our glass of milk a face. So let's add some eyes like this, and I'm also gonna give him a little mouth underneath. Now let's add a little bit of texture to this guy, and I'm also gonna change the straw to red so it stands out a lot more. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is our glass of milk in game. He kind of looks like something you would see in a milk commercial. I don't think you want to drink this guy though. I doubt he tastes good. I will say his running animation looks pretty funny though. It's exactly how I would imagine a glass of milk running. The glass of milk also randomly does a backflip because that totally makes sense. Just ignore the fact that he doesn't spill at all. If you throw splash potions at the glass of milk, it does nothing because milk clears effects. And you can also clear effects by right clicking him if you tame him with sugar. This means you'll never have to drink milk again if you have this guy, which is exactly what he wanted. I'm going to give the glass of milk an 8 out of 10. He's not the best mob, but he's definitely pretty cool. Next, I'll translate a pig. What will we get? And we just got light. For this one, I think I'm gonna make some kind of light golem. First, I'm gonna rearrange his body parts like this, and let's take his body and make it a lot bigger because it's a golem. Now, let's change the shape of his head a bit to match his body, and we'll give him some arms like this. I'm also gonna give him a massive fist on the bottom as well, and we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now, let's add some horns on the top, which I'm going to make into lanterns later, and this is a pretty good body, so now let's add some color. First, let's color his whole body a stonish color, and I'm going to draw a yellow area, which is going to be replaced with a glowstone texture later. So let's put another yellow area on his hands, and I'm also going to give him some eyes, which will be yellow as well. Now let's add a few more darker parts like this, and now that I've added texture onto him, he looks way better. But we still need to make the top things into lanterns like this, and we'll also give him some torches on his shoulders as well. Now let's change his eyes a little bit, because they look kind of weird, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the light golem in game. I have no idea why he is orange. Okay, I actually have to turn off the shaders for this one. It's because I made it so the light golem emits light, which as you can see, makes him pretty useful to have with you in the caves. If you want to spawn the light golem, he is crafted using four glowstone blocks and a pumpkin. I have no idea why you get to keep two of them though, that's weird. And other than providing a light source, the light golem also fights hostile mobs. He also strikes lightning every time he attacks them because he is the light golem. And this actually makes him pretty OP. Not good enough to kill the six-headed demon though, nothing will ever be. Overall, I think the light golem looks kind of strange. The glowstone is definitely kind of weird looking. So because of this, I decided to give the light golem a 6 out of 10. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate, and we got education. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna make the teacher golem. First, I'm going to make his 
body a little bit different of a shape. And let's add some shoes to the bottom of his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna give his arms an extra limb so that we can bend them. And now it's time to add some color. So first, we'll color his shirt a lightish blue. And we'll color his pants dark gray and his shoes will be brown. Okay, now let's add a vest all around his body like this. And I'm gonna color the vest brown just like we did for his shoes. Okay, now that's looking good. So it's time to add some details to his shirt and we'll give him some hands. And I wanna put one of those pointer things in his right hand. So let's do that. And in his left hand, I'm going to give him a book. So let's mirror this and move it a bit. And now we'll just give him some glasses like this. Now, finally, I think it's time to give him some texture. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the teacher golem in game. I will say he looks a lot better than I thought he would. Overall, he just looks kind of weird with the clothes though. It kind of looks like he's from a monster school video. Similar to spawning the light golem, you need four bookshelves to spawn the teacher golem instead. The teacher golem can be especially useful to craft if you need to study because every time you right click him, he tells you a random fact from Google, which was originally named back rub according to the teacher golem. The teacher golem is also able to fight though, as he gives you a random potion effect every time he attacks you. But will that be enough to beat the six-headed demon? It actually is, but that's only because he's somehow immune to his attacks. I guess he's just fighting smarter than the six-headed demon. Overall, I think the teacher golem doesn't look the best, but his features are still pretty cool, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a creeper. What will we get? And we got don't go. That's basically telling us to stop, so for this one, I'm going to make a living stop sign. First, let's remove his back legs because we don't need them. And we'll shape his body into more of a stop sign body like this. Now let's move his head up a bit and we'll shape his head into a stop sign. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now it's time to work on his legs. And let's just add a piece that connects to the body like this. And we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm going to give him some arms. And we'll make these arms bend out towards the front like this. And let's copy this to the other side as well. And I think that's pretty good. So now it's time to add some color. First, let's color the stop sign completely red. And then we'll color his body a light gray, kind of like a stop sign bowl. Next, I'm going to put a white outline around the stop sign like this, and we'll add some text that says stop over the top of the sign. Now let's color his hands and feet a bit darker gray, and we'll start to add some texture like this, and I think that's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the stop sign man in game. For what it is, he looks pretty good. The stop sign man's running animation also looks pretty funny, just like the glass of milk. Since the stop sign man was made from a creeper, he has a random chance of exploding every time he attacks something. The stop sign man also temporarily freezes you when he attacks you because he wants you to stop. If you kill a stop sign man, he drops a stop sign, which is a weapon that pretty much does the exact same things that his attack does, so you can become the stop sign man. It's also a surprisingly good weapon to use against the stop sign man as well. Overall, I think the stop sign man is pretty funny, but he's definitely not one of the best mobs, so I decided to give the stop sign man a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a strider. Translate, and we got sponge. For this one, I'm going to make spongebob. First, I'll remove the hair. Now, let's make his legs shorter, and we'll make his body sponge-shaped. Now, let's color his body yellow. Now, we'll add his pants, and let's draw his white shirt. Now, let's give him a red tie. Now, let's give him some arms. Now, let's give him some eyes. That looks good. Now, we'll draw a smile. Now, we'll give him two big teeth, and now we'll give him a big yellow nose, and we'll just add some black shoes, and now we'll just fill in his socks, and I'll give him his sponge holes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Hold on. I don't think that's right. Okay, that looks a lot better. He even has a baby SpongeBob on top. Look at all these SpongeBob's chilling in the lava. Kind of weird if you think of it. Let's ride a SpongeBob. Oh my god, this looks so weird. The other ones are following me too. Let's spawn a bunch of SpongeBob's. Wait, this one has a pig man on it. What? All the SpongeBob's are following me now. I have an army. Look at how weird it looks when he walks in the lava. All right, I give SpongeBob a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Ravager. Translating, and we got buff green. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make the Hulk. Let's remove his ears and nose, and now we'll color him fully green. Now let's draw his hair, and we'll give him a smile. Now let's draw his eyes, and we'll give him some green pupils. Now let's give him some angry eyebrows, and that looks good. Now we have to add his shorts. This is actually taking a long time. Now let's make his legs a bit smaller, and we'll make the bottom of his shorts look ripped. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. All right, why do I keep messing this up? There we go. Honestly, this looks better than the actual Hulk. Let's find a village and start a raid. And the raid is starting. Let's find the Incredible Hulk. I didn't know the Hulk was a villain. I don't think he even knows how to get up the mountain, so I think the village is safe. Hulk versus Iron Golem. Who wins? What is going on with his head? Wait, Iron Golem actually won. What? Here you go, buddy. You deserve it. Just kidding. I'm spawning more Hulks. Wait, this guy is going for the villager. Chill. Dang, the Iron Golem actually almost won that. I give Hulk an 8 out of 10. I think he turned out good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a parrot. Translate. And we got Fruit Bird. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Toucan Sam. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll extend his beak out a lot. Now, let's color his beak in yellow. I'm actually going to change the color. I think he's too bright. Now, let's add all the colors to his beak, and we'll draw him some eyes. Now, we'll color the front of his belly white, and I'll make his three 
tail feathers, and we'll color this one purple, this one red, and this one yellow. Now let's finally make his feet orange, and I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. He actually turned out good. Hey Toucan Sam, what is so good about Fruit Loops? Alright, how do we tame one of these guys? I think I have to give him a cookie. Oh, that is not good. I apologize to the original Toucan Sam. He's doing the Fruit Loops dance. Uh, Toucan Sam, where did you go? Alright, let's spawn an army of Toucan Sams. Okay, this is not a noise I wanted to hear. I'm sorry, it has to be done. Wait, I accidentally killed the one I tamed. Oh well, I'll just get a new one. Alright, I give Toucan Sam a 10 out of 10. I think he's really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither Skeleton. What will we get? And we got Puppet. For this one, I'm going to make Kermit the Frog. We'll start by coloring him green. Next, I'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now, I'll make it look like his mouth is open. Okay, we probably need to lower this a bit. Now, let's give him his eyes, and we'll draw the pupils. Next, I will color in his mouth, and let's make the outside a darker red. Now, we'll put a ring around his neck, and we'll extend the little things out a bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this guy actually looks pretty good. I don't know what happened to his eye, though, but other than that, he looks pretty solid. I wonder what it looks like getting chased by one of these. Oh god, there's nowhere to run. I'm actually gonna die. Let's go to the nether fortress, and here is some kermits in their natural habitat. Now, let's spawn a bunch more kermits, and now we'll see what it's like being chased by these guys. Wait, why is the gas getting involved? Oh god, this is a dead end. Why is this so scary? Kermit is not supposed to be scary. Oh god, we're in a blaze spawner. Wait, Kermit, stop. Oh no, I'm being hit. Why did I choose to go this way? Alright, I give Kermit a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translate. And we just got yellow. For this one, I'm going to make Homer Simpson. First, I'll remove the hat and nose. Next, I'll change the shape of his head. Now, I'll make the head yellow. And we'll color in his mouth. Next, I'll give him his nose. And we'll give him some eyes. Now, I'll make his mouth curve a little bit. And we'll move his shirt up a bit. Next, I'll color his pants in blue. And I'll give him his white shirt, and we'll color his arms in yellow. Now I'll fix the collar of his shirt, and I'll give him some black shoes. Okay, that turned out good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I lied. He looks very strange. I also put both of his shoes on the same foot by accident. I don't have any donuts, but will he eat cake? Nope, I don't think it's working. Let's spawn a Homer army. That's pretty much all we can do. Homer is kind of boring. Homer army versus Iron Golem. What will happen? Oh god, he's destroying them. Come on, Homer. Fight back. No, don't look at me. You're not fighting me. This is so sad. Rip Homers. Finally, one of them poisoned him. Alright, let's bring the Hulk in for help. Not even the Hulk can stop him. I give Homer a 6 out of 10. His fighting skills were not up to par. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cat. What will we get? And we got Rocket. For this one, I'm going to make Meowth because he is Team Rocket's cat. First, we'll color him in dark white, and we'll make the bottom of his feet brown, and we'll do the same for the end of his tail. Next, we'll make his ears a different shape. I think those look pretty good. Next, we'll add the hairs that stick out from his face, and we'll put the thing on the top middle of his head as well, and we'll give him a couple of eyes, and a pink mouth. Okay, I think we need to change a few things. That looks better. Let's just add some teeth, and we'll make his pupils a bit thinner. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty decent and we'll spawn a baby. That looks more like Meowth. Let's tame a Meowth. Meowth dance? As you know, we have to do the Pokeball test. It's still not working. Alright, Meowth versus a Creeper. Who wins? Dang, the Creeper's not even gonna try. Time to spawn a Meowth army, and let's tame them all. Why is this one so hard to get? That somehow gave us an advancement. Now we have a teleporting cat army. Fight the Creeper, guys. Alright, I give Meowth a 7 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a horse. Translating. And we got speed. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make knuckles. Let's color him fully red. Now let's make his neck a bit smaller. Let's get rid of these ears, and we'll color his face in. Now I'll give him a little black nose, and I'll draw his blue eyes. Now I will put his smile on the front of his mouth, and I'll give him a little bit of hair. Okay, this kind of looks like a poodle. Now I'll draw his white collar, and I'll give him his white knuckles. Next, I'll give him a couple shoes, and we'll color this part green. Now finally, we just need to color in his tail. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Alright, I figured something weird like this would happen. Floating knuckles, I guess? At least the babies have legs. They look so weird because of the different horse types. Alright, it's time to tame a flying knuckles. And now we have our own knuckles. Yo, this guy is kind of fast too. Wait, can I make them all chase me with the golden apples? Nah, none of them can keep up. I wonder how he looks with horse armor. That somehow made him even worse. At least he kind of has legs now. Alright, I give knuckles a 1 out of 10. So many things went wrong here. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a vex. What will we get? And we got green dinosaur. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoshi. Let's separate his legs a little bit, and we'll color him fully green. Green. Now we'll extend his nose piece out, and we'll give him a couple nostrils. Now let's draw in some eyes, and we'll make the side of his face white. Now let's add his mouth underneath, and we'll make the front of his body white. Now let's give him some orange shoes, and we'll just give him his dinosaur tail, and we'll just color
color the bottom of it white. Now we can just add his red shell, and we'll add the white outlines on the side. Now finally, we can add the red spikes on his back. Okay, that doesn't really look like Yoshi. Let's see it in game. Yo, that actually looks kind of cool. I have no idea where his other leg went, though. Why does everyone's legs keep disappearing? One-legged Yoshi is better than no-legged Yoshi. Actually, it really isn't, because he can fly. Let's spawn a bunch of Yoshis. I really thought this would be scary, but it looks kind of cool. Look how many of them are trying to get me. Yoshis versus Iron Golem. The Golem isn't so scary now. Never mind, he was able to reach one of them. Are the Yoshis even gonna fight back? What's up with all these mobs? Alright, I give Yoshi a 6 out of 10 because his leg is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translate, and we got Scary Bird. I think for this one, I'm going to do Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. First, we'll make her fully yellow. Next, we'll give the legs the animatronic look, and we'll copy that to the arms as well. And we'll also add it to the body. Now let's add some fingers. And we'll also add a thumb. Now we can color her feet in orange, and we'll extend them out a little bit like this. Now we'll add the beak. Let's color it orange, and we'll give her some teeth. This is already looking scary. Now we'll add her tufts of hair, and now let's do the eyes. That looks really weird. And now we can finally add the bib with the let's eat text. I know there's exclamation marks, but I couldn't fit them. Okay, this looks really scary. Let's see it in the game. Okay, what happened to the arm? Alright, now our problems are fixed. This definitely looks scary. Looks kind of like a cursed big bird. I apologize to this villager. I don't know why he's naked. Let's look at baby chica now. Oh no, that's terrifying. Let's spawn an army of them. Oh god, I don't like this. Yeah, not so tough anymore. Oh no. I give Chica a 7 out of 10. Something about her face just looks weird. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. What will we get? And we got Faceless Suit. So last time you guys wanted me to make Slenderman, so this time I am going to make him. Let's color his head white first. Now I will make the rest of his body dark black. And now we can give him his tie. That looks good. Next we'll add some hands. Let's copy that on the other side. And now I'll give him some fingers. And a thumb. And we'll color his hands in white. And now we can give him some shoes. Let's bring that over here. And we'll color his shoes a dark gray. Now I can add the tentacle things on his back. Let's put one here. And here and here. That doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Alright, I had to get rid of the things on his back because they wouldn't work, but I think he looks pretty good. I definitely think Huggy Wuggy was way scarier though. Yep, he still extends his head at me. Let's go to the end. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. You don't want a no clip in here at night. Or any time at all. I don't remember this from the Slenderman game. Just do it, guys. I had to bring them to Slenderman's forest. I give Slenderman an 8 out of 10. I wish the things on his back worked. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Let's translate. And we got Red Plumber. This is going to be weird, but I am going to try to turn the pig into Mario. We'll start by making him fully red. Now we'll make his legs blue, and we'll add his overalls. I'll put the yellow buttons here. Now we can color in his face. I think we can leave his nose, honestly, and add some eyes. Okay, that looks weird. I'm going to make the nose smaller. And now he has new eyes, which look way better, and we'll give him a mustache and some hair on the sides, and the top, of course. Now we'll make his hat. This looks really cursed at the moment. It looks much better in red. And now I'll draw the circle where we will put the M. But first, let's give him ears, and we'll make his front front legs red and add some gloves. And we'll color in the boots on his back legs. Now we can finally draw the M on his hat. Honestly, I kind of like it. Let's see it in game. This is definitely cursed, but he doesn't look too bad as a pig. Let's see him as a baby. Okay, his head is way too big. Oh no, there's a bunch of Goombas in the way. No, you're supposed to stomp on it. I think my Marios are defective. Certainly you can't mess this one up. Bruh. There we go. There's nothing down there, but I mean, oh god. I give Pig Mario an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. On to the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got blue vehicle. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the Fortnite battle bus. This is going to be interesting. First, we have to get rid of all of this. Perfect, we're done. Now, I'll extend this out a bit, and we'll color it blue. Now, we can add a front, and we'll give it some tires. Let's color these in black, and we'll add yellow rims. Now, let's start making the windows. I wish I knew there was a shape tool sooner. I was drawing these manually. Now, we'll add some black stripes. That looks pretty sick. And now, we'll put the lights on the front, and we'll draw the grill. Now, we have to add the balloon to the top. I think that looks pretty good. Last thing we have to do is make sure it's connected to something and we'll color these in that looks good let's see it in game all right we have to go to the end for this one. Oh my god why does this actually look really good oh he's perching i like how it just flips upside down okay now we're idling oh now he's back to work where are we dropping don't forget to thank the bus driver he's been working hard i give the battle bus a 10 out of 10 this is honestly the best mob i've ever made okay slenderman doesn't agree with me time for the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translate and we got 
chimpanzee. All right, I know exactly what I'm going to make. I'm going to make Donkey Kong. Let's start by coloring him brown, and then we'll color in his chest. That looks good. Now we'll add hands. Copy that over here, and we'll make his arms slightly shorter. Now we'll give him fingers and a thumb. Now we can color his hands and fingers in. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now we'll make his feet, and we'll color these in as well. Now we can start to shape his face and give him some eyes underneath that. Next, we can add a mouth. That looks really good. Now we just give him some nostrils and add his ears and we'll give him his wavy hair on the top. And finally, we need to add a tie. We'll color that fully red. And now we just need to write DK on his tie. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Yo, this is kind of sick. Oh, his tie is gone. Let's see him fight some zombies. Oh no. Here we go. Good as new. Let's find a jungle. Now they're in their natural habitat. I wish I could spawn a baby one like Diddy Kong. Oh, they're dying. They can't get in. Rip skeleton. All right, I give Donkey Kong a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a panda. What do we get? And we got lazy. This is perfect. We can turn the panda into Snorlax. Let's color him in greenish blue first. Now we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's make his face whitish. And we'll do the same for his belly. Now we can add his sleeping eyes, and we'll give him a smile. With a couple of teeth, now we can color his legs the same color as his face. And we'll add little brown circles to them as well. And now finally we can give him some claws, and we'll color them white. I think that looks decent, let's see it in the game. Yo, that actually looks pretty cool. And baby Snorlax? Yo, he's doing a roll. Ignore the missing texture on his head. Let's give them some bamboo. Apparently the small ones don't eat it. I don't know what you're talking about, the head is fine. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is supposed to be sleeping. We have to do a Pokeball test. Nope. Alright, I'd give Snorlax an 8 out of 10. It would be a 10 if he could sleep. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got money challenge. I think for this one, I'm going to make Ryan Trayan. First, we'll color in his skin. We probably want to get rid of this. Now, I will give him a neck. And now, we can give him his white shirt. And we'll add his shorts as well. Let's color these in. And we'll make his arms a bit shorter. Actually, never mind. Let's give him some fingers and some thumbs. And now, we'll make his eyes. I'm not sure if they are blue or green, so I am going to make them green. Now, we'll give him some eyebrows and some hair. Now, let's give him a mouth and a nose. I don't like this mouth. Now, we need to make his hair look a bit better. Okay, that looks good. And now, we'll make him holding a penny. That's a big penny. And let's give him a mouth again. Okay, let's see this in game. Whoa, Ryan, put the gun down. Okay, why do I keep messing the textures up? There we go. Whoa, Ryan, don't shoot the penny at me. Okay, this really doesn't look like Ryan. I don't know if his eyes are green. I think it's time for the great reset. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, no. He's going on a rampage. This man is wiping out the entire outpost. I'm gonna give Ryan a 7 out of 10. It doesn't really look like him. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an LA. Generating text. Okay, it says rich man and some other stuff that we'll just ignore. For this one, I'm going to make Mr. Krabs. First, we'll delete these. Now, we'll make his body bigger and we'll give him his pants. Now, let's add his legs and we'll color his arms red. Now, we can shrink his head and color it in and we'll give him some eyes and we'll make them kind of green. Now, we'll make his face a little bit round and we'll draw his smile and now we can add his shirt collar and his sleeves and finally, we'll draw his belt. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to his arms but other than that he looks good okay his head is also messed up too this must be what the tooth fairy looks like all right mr krabs bring me some money i never thought i'd see mr krabs giving away money oh my god mr krabs what are you in for don't worry i'll break you guys out and these guys too everybody's locked up not you though sorry buddy i'm off to find the crusty crab i mean this is probably good enough and squidward's here already this is perfect all right mr krabs let's get this money i like how he just glows underwater all right i give mr krabs a 7 out of 10 mainly because his model is very broken it's time for the next mob the next mob is a spider what will we get okay i don't really know what a spider demon is but mommy long legs is a scary spider so i think that's close enough let's delete these legs and we'll shrink some of the body parts now we'll color this in pink and we'll rotate the legs now we'll add another part to the legs and we'll color her legs in pink now let's add the blue before her feet and we'll add her feet now let's start making her hair and we'll make it curl down like this that should be good enough now we can add the blue hair tie and we'll start drawing her eyes and we'll give her some eyelashes now we can draw her big mouth and we will put her lips on top and now i'll just draw a little spiral in her hair all right that looks pretty good let's see it in game all right that somehow worked better than i expected i mean the spider's eyes are still there but other than that all right that looks much better i'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out in game i thought for sure something was gonna break mommy long legs versus a wolf okay that was pretty stupid but i had nothing else to put her against mommy long legs army oh my god why are they dying what is this one doing? Yo, this one's doing it too. What is this emote called? 
All right, I'm gonna give Mommy Longlegs a 9 out of 10. I think she turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a giant. Generating. Okay, we got a mouse who nearly had 100-year-old feuds or something. I don't know. We'll ignore the second part and make Mickey Mouse. Let's color him fully black, and we'll give him his shorts. Now we'll add his yellow shoes, and I'll make his face round. Now we can give him his ears. That looks good enough. Now I'll add the skin on his face, and let's give him some big eyes, and we'll just give him black pupils. Now I'll add his nose, and finally we will put the white buttons on his shorts. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see him in game. Let's get a giant spawn egg. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Well, almost. Mickey, I don't think we need to see that. But from the front, he looks pretty good. Giants don't really do anything, so uh, why does he make a player damage noise? Mickey Mouse versus Donald Duck size comparison. I don't think this is very accurate. Let's see if the wolf will attack him. I mean, he's trying to. Doesn't seem to be working, though. It's the Mickey Mouse clubhouse. I think he's too big for the house. I'm going to give Mickey a 7 out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Generating text. Okay, a clumsy guy when I made a team with a race. Something about dark matter clouds. What? For this one, I'm going to make a Fall Guys character. Alright, let's delete these legs, and we'll move the front ones to the middle. Now we'll shrink his body and his head. Let's color him all pink, and we'll make his legs smaller. Now we can give him little feet, and we'll just add his arms, and I'll just turn the arms a little bit sideways. Now we can give him some fingers, and we'll also give him a big thumb. Now I can make his head a little bit round, and we can start drawing his face, and I'll just give him little eyes, and we'll make him round on the bottom too. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good. I don't know what happened there though. Or there. I guess he's still a creeper on the inside. Can he do parkour? Come on, you're not gonna qualify or something. I don't know. I've never played Fall Guys. Alright, he lost. We'll give him something he can actually do. Come on, you just gotta make it to the other side. What if I put some sort of bait over there? What do creepers like? I don't know why I decided on a sheep, but we've added a sheep. Never mind. I have an idea. Yes, you can do it. Wait, no. Oh god. He's so close to making it to the end. Oh no. At least he didn't die. Alright, I give Fall Guys an 8 out of 10, but there are definitely some mistakes with this model that need to be fixed. Time for the next mob. The next mob is the warden. What will we get? Okay, we got big powerful man. For this one, I'm going to turn the warden into Thanos. Alright, we'll make his head smaller, and let's remove his horns slash ears. I don't know what these are. Well, now let's give him a torso, and we'll color his body in purple. Now let's add his yellow belt, and we'll color his pants brown, and we can add his yellow collar to the shirt, and I'll paint the rest of him light purple. Now we can add the infinity gauntlet, and all of the infinity stones, and we'll give him some biceps. Now we can draw his chin, and I'll give him some eyebrows, and some eyes, and finally I'll add his nose. Okay, that doesn't look great, hopefully it looks better in game. Alright, I've traveled to the deep dark to spawn a Thanos naturally. That doesn't look like Thanos. Okay, that's much better. Not sure why he still has ears though, I thought we deleted them. Okay, it's finally fixed. I went through way too much effort for this dollar store Thanos. At least we can now see him come out of the ground. Yo, no way, Thanos is here. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's see if I can beat Thanos. At least I survived one snap. Alright, I give Thanos a 6 out of 10. He just looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bunny. Generating. Okay, a horrifying bunny and something about VHS tapes. For this one, I'm going to make Bonnie because he is scary. Alright, let's color his body fully purple. And we'll make his ears flop down. Now I will start shaping his mouth. And now let's give him a few teeth. Okay, two teeth is all he gets. Now we'll give him his black nose. And we'll start drawing some eyes. We'll make them red on the inside. Okay, that looks scary. Now we can color the back of his mouth black. And we'll make the top part of his mouth lighter purple purple as well as his ears. Now we'll do the same for his belly, and finally we will give him a red bow tie, and we will make his arms look like they are made out of metal. Okay, that turned out pretty good, let's see it in game. I always forget how small the rabbits are. Look how scary those eyes are, oh my god. Baby Bonnie, oh my god, it's so small. It's hard to be afraid of something so tiny. Bonnie army. I have to do this, I'm sorry guys. I think we broke the fox. Seriously though, what is the fox doing? Let me fix that. Yo, all these guys are emoting over here too. Alright, I give Bonnie a 10 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Generating text. And we got duck. If you aren't familiar with frogs, please read the label before you start. Okay. I'm going to make Psyduck for this one. Alright, let's delete all this, and we'll just get rid of his eyes as well. Now let's try to shape this into a duck, and we'll color it all in yellow. Now let's give him duck feet, and we'll color them a lightish yellow. Now we can give him a beak, and we'll color this the same color as his feet. Now we can add some little arms on each side, and we'll make his lizard-like tail. Now we can add the black tufts of hair to the top of his head, and we'll give him some eyes. Alright, that doesn't look terrible, let's see it in game. Oh my god, that actually looks good other than the walking animation. Okay, that might not be normal. To be fair, the walking animation would kind of fit him if it wasn't broken. Let's see a baby frog. Oh yeah, that's a tadpole. Let's see Psyduck eat a slime. Okay, the slime probably has to be smaller. Oh my god, that is so cursed. Isn't this an achievement or something? 
Oh, I give Psyduck a 6 out of 10. He's just too cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? I turned an axolotl into a fish, which I refuse to talk about. Okay, for this one, I'm going to turn the axolotl into Nemo. We'll start by getting rid of all these legs, and let's change the shape of his head and his body as well. Now we'll start coloring him orange, and now we'll add the white stripes on the outside. And let's give him his little fins on the side. Now let's outline the white stripes in black, and we'll draw in this fin on the top as well. Now let's add some eyes, and now we can give him a smile. I'm actually going to change his eyes, and we'll put some eyelid type things above them. Okay, this looks strange. Let's just see it in game. Honestly, it doesn't look too terrible. I think he's supposed to be in water though. I realize now that Nemo is already in the game, so I'm sorry buddy, but there can only be one Nemo. I like how Nemo only went for that one fish and left the other ones alone. He's truly just asserting dominance. But as you know, they're supposed to be finding Nemo, so now I've got him locked up. Nemo is right there. Free him, other Nemo. I don't think that's how it happened. Okay, I'll free Nemo myself. Swim home, Nemo. Or just stay here. That works, I guess. Okay, I give Nemo an 8 out of 10. I'm kind of surprised with how he looked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Golden Scare. For this one, I think I am going to make Golden Freddy. First, I'll delete his back legs, then we'll add his bent legs, and now I'll give him an arm. We'll copy that over here. Now let's add some hands and some fingers, and we'll color him in gold. Now let's rotate his head, and we'll color it all gold. Now we can extend his mouth out, and put another part on the bottom, and we'll add some teeth. Now we'll add his nose, and we'll give him his top hat, and some ears, and now let's add his microphone, and we'll give his arms the animatronic look. Now we can give him his eyes and I'll touch up his face a bit more. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He should not be walking like that. Oh my god. I put way too much effort into the face compared to the body. It kind of looks like that horse. It kind of looks like he's riding a wheelchair, to be honest. Let's see a baby one. Oh yeah. Let's spawn a bunch of Freddies in this village and watch them run away from a cat. It's kind of ironic that a guy this scary is afraid of a tiny cat. This Freddy isn't, though. Uh, I think you've got a problem there. He doesn't seem to care. More cats. Alright, let's watch a Freddy blow up. Amazing. Supercharged Freddy. It still has the shape of a creeper. Will we survive a supercharged Freddy with full netherite? Oh wow, that actually did a lot. I'm going to rate Golden Freddy a 9 out of 10. I'm honestly really happy with how his head turned out. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. What will we get? And we got Caterpillar. I think I'm going to make PJ Pugapillar from Poppy Playtime. Let's make his legs shorter and delete his body. Now we'll color this in purple. And I'll give him new legs like this. Actually, this one is supposed to be blue. Now we'll color this one purple. And we'll copy this back a few times. And we'll also copy his feet back too. Now let's color his face in. And we'll add his scary mouth. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll add some teeth and color his mouth. Now let's give him his tongue. And we'll add his ears. Okay, so I read it his whole face. And I think this looks a lot better. I'm just going to fix his eyes. And that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Oh god, that is not supposed to happen. Okay, that's much better. I removed his walking animation, but it's going to have to do. Oh god, why is he phasing in the ground? Him moving like that is so scary. Time to tame one of my own. And now we'll see PJ versus Golden Freddy. Go after him, I punched him. Bad dog. Alright, now this is scary. This chicken better get out of here. Let's see them take out a fox. They can't catch him. He's emoting on them. Alright, we have to do this. Oh my god, Freddy even joined in too. Alright, I give PJ a 7 out of 10. His model is really broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm going to do a drowned. Translate 300 times. And we got sharp claws. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Wolverine. Let's color him in yellow. And we'll color in his arms. Now let's add some blue gloves. And we'll give him his claws. Now let's add his red belt. And we'll give him some shoulder pads. Now we can make his mask. And we'll do his mouth area. Now we can give him some eyes, and we'll color in his boots. And now we can add the X on his belt. This doesn't really fit, so this is gonna have to do. Let's see him in the game. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, that's a lot better. Wolverine versus the villagers, who will win? Yo, these guys got tridents. Wait, why does this one have a fishing rod? This guy stands no chance the babies are going to get him. The baby has a trident? What? Good work, guys. As you can see, the baby turned out good too. I honestly think it looks better. Okay, the noise they make is disturbing. Will PJ fight Wolverine? Oh no, they're ganging up on him. They're going for the golem now. They can't be stopped. Why is he targeting the babies? And the iron golem wins. Alright, I give Wolverine an 8 out of 10. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate, and we got Tall Pink. Alright, for this one, I am going to make Kissy Missy. Let's color her fully pink, and we'll give her big hands, and some fingers. Now let's color that in yellow. Now we'll give her some feet, and we'll start shaping her head. Now we can start drawing her mouth, and we'll add her eyes. Let's put some eyelashes above. Now we can do her teeth. And finally, we'll add her blue bow. That looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks scary. And she's gone. She ended up looking very similar to 
Wuggy Wuggy. I wonder why. Oh no. Staring contest. Who will win? She's holding a flower, but instead of using her hands, it's just floating in the air. Alright, let's check out the end. This might be scarier than when it was all Huggy Wuggies. Alright, it's time. This is terrifying. How long can I survive being chased by Kissy Missies? That's unfortunate. Why is the noise just getting louder? I give Kissy Missy a 9 out of 10. This is one of my favorite mobs yet. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. What will we get? And we got Fox. For this one, I'm going to make Foxy. Let's delete all this. That looks so weird. Now we'll shrink his head, and we'll also shrink his legs and his arms. Now let's color him in red, and we'll color in his shorts. Now we'll make his legs gray, and we'll add his feet. Now we'll put his belly spot, and since he looks like he's falling apart, we'll just color part of him because I'm lazy. Now we'll make his hand floating because it looks kind of detached, and we'll make the hook on his other hand. Now let's start shaping his mouth, and we'll add his nose, now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add the hair on the side of his face. Now we'll make his eye patch, and we'll color in his other eye, and finally we'll give him some ears. That looks pretty good considering I did it all in 16x, let's see it in game. Why is he shaking? Oh yeah, we have to go to the nether. Why is everything purple? There we go. He's even holding a sword with his hook, how talented. Let's see a baby one. I don't know why, but his head shape is reminding me of Manny from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Let's locate a bastion, and here we will find some foxies in their natural habitat. Let's see if he'll fight Freddy. Okay, you can obviously see who had more effort put into them. Let's spawn an army. Okay, how long can I survive? Oh god, I think I won. I don't think they can get me. Alright, I'm going back in. Oh god, Freddy, help me. You didn't see that. Alright, I give Foxy a 5 out of 10. He kind of looks like a mouse. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Let's translate, and we got Steel Guy. Okay, I think it's obvious that I'm going to make Iron Man. Let's color him in red, and we'll extend his mask out. Now let's color in his eyes, and I'll add some yellow to his arms. Next, we'll add the blue to his chest, and we'll extend part of his chest out as well. Now let's add some yellow to his legs, and we'll give him his blasters. And let's add some fingers, and a thumb, and finally extend his feet out a bit. Alright, that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, where where did his arms go? Oh yeah, he needs to be attacking something for us to see them. Just use the blasters. Man's really getting embarrassed by a naked villager. Finally. Alright, it's time to go to work, boys. That's not Iron Man. The villagers don't even stand a chance. Iron Golem will take care of them. Never mind, he won't. Iron Man is just unstoppable. I give Iron Man a 6 out of 10. He needs arms. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate, and we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm going to make Pikachu. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll make his nose black. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him his red cheeks, and a little pink mouth. Now let's shrink his ears a bit, and we'll color the top of them black. And now we can add his lightning bolt tail, and we'll move this there. That shape looks pretty good, now we just need to color it in. And we'll make sure the bottom of his tail is brown. That looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, he actually turned out pretty good. Look at the baby one, look how small he is. Pokeball test, why does it never work? Pikachu army, one fox could ruin it all. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Oh, what is he doing right now? I just can't believe how small the baby Pikachu is. It's like a mouse. I give Pikachu a 10 out of 10. I mean, how could you not? It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translate, and we got red web. All right, I think I'm going to make Spider-Man for this one. Let's color him in red. Now we'll make his eyes, and we'll add a black outline. Now let's put some blue on his pants, and let's also add some blue to his arms, and we'll add blue to his body. Now let's draw the spider on his chest. Okay, that might be too big, but I think it looks good. I'm also going to edit his eyes a bit, and we'll make the red on his feet a bit higher. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. Yeah, that's basically what I expected. He basically just looks like a player skin on a skeleton. I don't think he can shoot webs either. He looks like a dude in a costume that you hire for a birthday party. Enough Spider-Man slander, can he beat PJ? He's just running away. Okay, he's not shooting webs, but I respect it. This is actually really close, and PJ wins it. Why was that actually a really good fight? PJ is going in for round two. They're at home now. Spider-Man army. It's kind of like that meme where they're pointing at each other. Alright, I give Spider-Man a 5 out of 10. He kind of sucked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got an angry blue guy. Alright, I know exactly what to do. I'm going to make Squidward. I forgot villagers look like this when they're naked. Alright, let's make his legs skinnier. And now his arms. That looks so weird. Luckily, his nose is already perfect, so we just need to color him in. But first, I'll add some tentacle-like feet. Now he is fully blue, or Squidward color, not really blue. And we just have to fill in his shirt. Then add the sleeves and the eyes with different color eyelids on top. 
and reddish pupils. And now we will add a forehead line, not a unibrow. And finally, we put some spots on the top of his head. Almost forgot to add texture. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks so good. Let's find a village full of Squidwards. Open up. It's tax season. Wait, Squidward? Squidward must have finally quit the Krusty Krab. He's a farmer now. Okay, this is not okay. Baby Squidward, where's he gonna go? This reminds me of the episode where Squidward moves to like a Squidward only village. Wait, these guys got drip. All right, I give Squidward a 7 out of 10. I would use this over normal villagers. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? We got quick. This is perfect. I'm going to make Sonic. I'm pretty sure Sonic is a fox, so this should be easy. So first we'll make him all blue. Now we will fill in his face and his belly. And now we can do the arms. And now the rest of the face. Okay, these eyes are a little bit weird, but it should be fine. Now we add his gloves. And we have to make his back legs different from his arms. And we'll add his shoes. And I think that's it. Let's see it in the game. Yo, he's going crazy. I'm not as happy with this one as Squidward. Kind of looks like Sonic from Wish.com. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see a baby Sonic. Baby Sonic honestly looks better. All right, Sonic versus Squidward. Who wins? Oh yeah, they won't fight. Sonic versus Dr. Eggman. Well, they lay eggs. Okay, let's see if Sonic can collect these rings. No, you're going the wrong way. Okay, I will give Sonic some berries. I rate Sonic a 2 out of 10. He kind of sucked, not gonna lie. On to the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate... Tall scary man? Well, that basically is an Enderman, but I guess we could do Huggy Wuggy instead. I've never played this game, so I have no idea what this guy looks like, but I think his head kind of spikes up like this, and then he has big feet. We have to make him fully blue, and we'll color his hands and feet yellow, and now we'll add some eyes. Okay, that doesn't look right at all. Now we will add the smile. I put different eyes. They still don't look right though, and now we'll add a bow, and he has big hands too. Copy that over here. Change the eyes again, and we can add some spikes to his head. Okay, this looks like a scuffed Teletubby. Okay, I made some changes to the head and the face, and he looks a lot better now. I also gave him bigger hands, and now he looks completely different. Let's see it in the game. That looks pretty scary. Well, I'm not quite sure what Huggy Wuggy does. I would assume he doesn't extend his neck and run at you, but I think that makes him more terrifying. We have to go to the end and see this. There's so many of them. This is actually terrifying. This is actually where the portal in the deep dark takes you. But when you open a gum... Alright, I've had enough of these. I rated a 9 out of 10 though. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, especially after the first one. On to the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate time. Okay, this one actually kind of works. I was going to do my own skin, but I decided to do Donald Duck instead, because Donald Duck has more drip. Okay, we'll start by removing this. We'll make the head a little smaller, and now we'll add a hat. Okay, this hat looks terrible. Now we'll drag the beak down, and we'll draw the eyes. Let's make the beak orange, and now we can add his shirt. Make sure that there are sleeves, and we'll add the bow tie thingy in the front, and finally the yellow stripe on his sleeves. That looks better than I expected. Let's see it in the game. Okay, it looks pretty good in game. Side by side comparison. Who has more drip? What about Sonic versus Donald Duck? Sonic's going crazy. What does baby Donald look like? He's so small and he's following the big one. Let's take Donald to a shipwreck because he's a sailor or something. Not a very good one, obviously. The boat is underwater. I rate Donald an 8 out of 10. He's pretty good. Let's see if the next mob can top that. The next mob is a creeper. What do we get? We got Blackbird. Okay, I'm going to make the bomb bird from Angry Birds because that's kind of a creeper. Let's delete the body because birds don't have that and move the head down. Now let's make the legs smaller. Actually, we'll delete the back ones and try this. I'm not sure if it will break the animation. Now we'll make the head a bit bigger and we'll add a fuse thing to the top. Now let's add a beak and we'll color him all black with an orange beak and orange feet, a little orange on the fuse. Now we just need to do the eyes and we'll make him angry because he's an angry bird. Now we can color his belly and we'll make his pupils stand out a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Dang, that looks pretty good. And the feet actually work. That's surprising. Yep, still blows up. I want to know what this looks like. Oh, that looks kind of weird. All right, let's see a baby one. Oh yeah, there's no baby creepers. All right, let's shoot him at some pigs. Oh, I missed. I will give him a 7 out of 10 because he doesn't work like a regular angry bird. Let's see the next mob. Our next mob is a cow. Translate. We got Nightwing. I've got an idea. I'm going to do Batman, but I'm going to make him a cow instead, so like Bat Cow. First, we will color his suit in gray. Then we will add the yellow belt. And now we can do the underwear. And we'll make his boots dark blue. Now we have to do the Bat logo, which is going to be interesting. That looks alright. Now we have to give him a mask. And we'll leave his eyes and mouth peeking out like this. And now we have to add a cape. We'll drag this out a few. And now we will color his cape black. And we'll extend it out a bit on the edges and copy that to the other side that looks pretty good not gonna lie let's see how it looks in game that looks kind of sick but does he fight like batman nope this is some good batman steak though let's see a baby batman all right the texture is kind of broken but baby batman looks good too just gotta kill his parents kind of inspirational to be honest i can't believe they added the batmobile to minecraft i give bat cow a 7 out of 10 as well on to the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translate and we got hard shell this is perfect i'm going to make blastoise let's shorten his arms and remove this and drag his upper body down now we can delete the nose and add some ears now we can color him all blue 
and make kind of a shell. Now we will color the front of the shell and make the edges of the shell white. Now we will make the shell brown and we will give him a chin and some eyes. Let's add color to the ears and now we can add his cannons on his back. Copy that over and we'll make them both gray. I'm actually going to make his head shorter and more wide. Now we have to redo his face. Okay, this might be the worst mob yet. Let's see it in the game. Okay, Blastoise has seen better days. He's almost 30 years old though, to be fair. But can Blastoise defend the Squidward Village? He can. Well, kinda. I guess we just need to see if he can fit in a Pokeball now. It doesn't look like it. That also seems to have made him mad. Alright, I accept my fate. Let's put him where he belongs with his family. I give Blastoise a 2 out of 10. He just looks weird. Next mob. Next we are going to do a zombie. What do we get? We got Mushroom Man. Okay, I'm going to make Toad from Mario because he has a mushroom on his head. Alright, let's shrink the head and make the mushroom on top. Maybe it will look better when it's colored in. We'll make it white to start though. Next we'll fill in his skin and make his pants white as well. Now we can start the outline of his shirt and we'll fill the rest in with blue. Now we can do his mouth and eyes. Okay, he kind of looks like the epic face. We'll add spots on the mushroom. There we go. And finally we will do his shoes. Alright, this might be worse than Blastoise. Let's see it in game. He also looks bad in game. But Toad is kind of small, so he will probably look better as a baby. Eh, I mean, it's a little bit better. Now let's see Toad as a giant. Oh, apparently giants are different. Now let's see 1000 Toads versus 1 Blastoise. I think it's clear who wins. Run Squidward. I give Toad a 0 out of 10. I would give lower if I could. Alright, let's move on to the final mob. The final mob is a ghast. Let's translate. And I got location. What can I even do? I actually have an idea for this. I'm going to make the earth. Well, the Minecraft one. I don't go outside. Alright, we'll color it like stone first. And now we'll add the dirt layer. Next, we'll add some grass to the sides and cover the full top. We'll also put a small lake on top and add a few trees. Now we can add the deep slate layer. And finally, we'll put some black for bedrock. Now we just need to add a few ores. Diamonds, gold, iron, and some coal. The ores make it look worse, I think, but let's see it in the game. I realize now that this makes no sense. I made the gas the overworld when it should be the nether. Honestly, it looks so out of place in the nether. Well, at least the earth now shoots meteors at you, so it's like reverse dinosaurs or something. Let's see if we can get returned to sender. Nice. Honestly, they should just hire me to retexture all the mobs. I mean, this looks so much better, right? Alright, let's spawn a ton of earths. Alright, I give the earth a 5 out of 10. It could have been better. This is a tropical fish being burned alive, and this is an edible wiener dog. I put every Minecraft item through Google Translate way more times than you were supposed to, and then I made whatever result it gave me. I started with some of the most OP items in the game, netherite armor and tools. I... I don't know who Nasertic is. I drew some flames over the sword, and then I colored it red. This sword looks cool, but I have no idea what it has to do with Nasertic. Next, I did the pickaxe. Take the nurses. That's weird. I didn't really know what to do for this one, so I just drew one of those nurse helmets they wear. I'm kind of confused how this hat is able to mine through stone. Next, I made a shovel, and I got Bill Natry. But I don't know who Bill Natry is, so I just decided to draw Bill, because nothing comes up when you search Bill Natry. For a netherite axe, I got low credit, so I drew a credit card, and I actually thought this one looked pretty good considering it's 16x. This must be Mr. Beast credit card, it's very powerful. For the hoe I got anchor stones, so I drew one of those anchors that they use on boats. I don't think I needed to say that, I don't know what other type of anchors there are. Next I did some netherite armor, veil of the nethers. I tried to make a veil out of the same colors as the helmet, but it kinda looks like a giant netherite nose. For the chest plate I got under the skin. I don't know how to make organs, so I just colored it blue because that's the same color as Steve's shirt and it said skin in the translate. Next I made pants and I got a single platform, so I drew a YouTube logo because YouTube is the platform this video is on. If you're not watching this video on YouTube, I will be reporting you to the police immediately. The last netherite item is boots, and I got a shoe that doesn't fit. I just drew a really big shoe that obviously doesn't fit. This is all the netherite armor in game. Honestly, this is kind of drip, especially the nose helmet. Now it's time to translate some random items. Spectrum index. I don't know what that means, so I just colored the arrow rainbow because that's a spectrum. Next, I did a tipped arrow. Diagonal Diagonal axis. Apparently this is a diagonal axis, I don't know what the colors in the background are for. For a glass bottle I got glass, so I tried to make a glass texture, it didn't look that good. And for a fermented spider eye I got broken eyes, so I just cut the spider eye in half. This spider won't be seeing anytime soon. The eye is already removed, it has nothing to do with him. Next I did a blaze powder. Okay we got dust map. I drew a map 
and then I put a bunch of dust on top of it. This kind of looks like a saltine cracker with some weird gray stuff on top of it. For a glistering melon, I got candlelight, so I drew a candle and it kind of looked like Ferb's nose. And for a clock, I got view, so I drew a window with an epic view on the other side of it. Okay, it doesn't look that great, but the view I'm imagining looks a lot better. Next, I did a phantom membrane and I got It's a Good Movie. Shrek is a good movie, so I copy pasted a picture of Shrek's face on top of it. Next, I did both a splash potion and a lingering potion. For the splash potion, I got the medicine is finished, so I drew one of those bottles that they put pills in. And for the lingering potion, I got strong plants, so I drew a plant and put two arms flexing coming out of the sides. I think this is my worst drawing yet. This looks terrible. Now it's time to do some other types of armor. First, I did a leather helmet and I got a leather hat, which is pretty much what it is, so I made this brim to distinguish it from a helmet. I don't know how to add the brim in game, so I just did this. Next, I made a chest plate and got leather jacket. I cut some space in the middle, added some sleeves on the side, and then I colored the jacket darker. This would actually look pretty cool as an item in Minecraft. Not sure about when you wear it though. For the leather pants, I got his pants fell down, so I drew a man with his pants all the way down to his legs. And to finish the leather set, I got leather shoes, so instead of just making shoes, I decided to turn the leather boots into rocket shoes, which are much less boring than regular shoes. I also did the gold armor set. First, I made the gold helmet as a top hat, then I made the chest plate as a chest full of gold. Next, I made the pants as Polish gold, and then I made the boots as just regular shoes. I don't know why the boots always translate to shoes, it's very annoying. I also made both of these sets of armor as a model, don't look at the leather set, my pants are down. Because we did gold armor, it's time to do some gold tools to sleep. I drew some Z's on the side of the pickaxe to make it look like it's asleep. Next, let's do the axe. Golden axe. Since the word axe is smaller than axe, I decided to make a little tiny axe. This looks like something from one of those mods where they make everything really complicated. For the golden shovel, I got golden cave, so I drew a dark scary cave and put a bunch of spots of gold all over the walls. For a golden sword, I got a golden sword. That's what I just said. And since the translate added an A in front, I decided to make a sword shaped into an A. This is the new alphabet lore Minecraft mod. The final golden tool is the hoe, which I translated to a gold rose, and then I started making some stone tools. The stone axe would not stop translating to stone axe. Why is the translate actually working for once? So I made a battle axe because I can only do a certain amount of translates each day before Google bans me. The stone shovel became a stone face, so I tried to make Squidward's house. This was actually pretty accurate for not looking at the picture. It also kind of looks like this guy. I translated a stone sword and it gave me a stone knife, so I just, yeah. And then for a stone pickaxe, I got he picked me up, so I drew a man picking up a tiny man. I take back what I said earlier, this is the worst drawing I've ever made. The last stone tool is a hoe, which translated to the scale. I drew one of those scales that people use to see their weight, and I think your mom stepped on the scale. I'm sorry to any moms listening. For the next category, I did a bunch of boring items, so I'm going to speedrun those real quick. This is melon seeds as a pumpkin on a tree. This is a spawn egg with permission. This is a book and quill as paper and brush. This is a map as on the other hand. And this is a firework star as to sleep again. I don't know why I keep getting to sleep as a translate. For the prismarine shard, I got the heart as like a prism, so I made the shard into a heart shape. And for the prismarine crystal, I got glasses are important, so I drew a pair of glasses. I think I made the nose part a little too big. These would only fit the nose helmet. A couple other items I did was the popped chorus fruit as don't let it happen, the beetroot seeds as a carrot, and the shulker shell is a really bad version of the Minecraft logo. But one of the most interesting items I translated was the banner pattern. Okay, we got science of love. I drew a heart in the middle and then I added a science code around it. This actually just looks really weird. I don't think it's that interesting. I also made the nautilus shell as the end and a disc fragment as the entire earth. Ignore the placement of the continents. This is definitely an accurate earth. Everybody knows that food is the most important meal of the day, so next I translated some foods. Okay, we got age. I gave the rabbit a gray beard, a monocle, and a walking stick to make it look old. Next, I did cooked rabbit. Cook the rabbit meat. The rabbit meat is already cooked, so I put a fire underneath to double cook it. Hopefully, it's safe to eat a campfire and a metal rod. For glowberries, I got they have fresh fruit, so I drew a person and made them hold the glowberries so they had fresh fruit. And after that, I translated sweet berries and got it is a sweet fruit. So I made a strawberry because those are very sweet. I probably could have just left it as sweet berries. It kind of says it in the name. For raw mutton, I got to cook, so I drew an oven with what is supposed to be mutton inside of it. It kind of looks like the mutton is a tongue and the buttons are eyes. Next, I did cooked mutton and got delicious food, so I decided to draw my favorite food. Man, I love eating these. Comment if this is your favorite food too. There are a lot of foods in Minecraft, so I decided to speed run the next few. I turned raw cod into a person shoveling transparency outside of their house, and then I made raw salmon into the old Minecraft. 
Minecraft fish. I made a tropical fish into a burning hot fish. I'm not sure how it's on fire if it belongs in the water. And then I made a puffer fish into two puffer fishes. Next, I made a potato and I got potatoes, so I just put more potatoes behind it. And then for a baked potato, I got to be easy, so I colored it green because green is the color for easy. I probably wouldn't eat the green potato. There's definitely something wrong with it. Next, I made a beetroot. Okay, we got black paper. I just used the regular paper texture and then I turned it black. For dry kelp, I got these words, which translates to a small dog, so I decided to draw a little wiener dog. This is definitely not what they meant by hot dog. There's still so many foods to go, so I did a few more, like this raw beef as a club from the cards, this cooked cod as a Wi-Fi symbol, this cooked salmon as... I don't really know what this is, actually, and this rabbit stew as rabbit juice. But it's time to move on from foods and do the rest of them later, so let's do some chain armor instead. Helmet chain. That's what this is supposed to be. It's a helmet chain. Next, I did the chest plate. Heart grinder. I drew some spikes on the top, and then I struggled to draw a heart underneath. I don't know why anyone would want to wear a heart grinder on their chest plate. That sounds dangerous. For leggings, I got porcelain leggings, so I tried to make one of those porcelain patterns on the pants. And for the chain boots, I got shoes and chains. It looks like these guys aren't getting out of jail anytime soon. This is a wood axe with a pause sign over it because it translated to wait. And this is a wood hoe with a mouth and some eyes because it translated to let's talk. I wonder what the wood hoe has to say. For a wood sword, it just kept translating to a wooden sword, so I just left it as a wood sword. And for a wooden shovel, I got work, so I drew a person with a construction vest and helmet and gave them some type of shovel thing. Now I can hire somebody to do my shoveling for me. It probably hurts though. There are still over a hundred items left to translate, so I started doing more random items next. Bicycle. I drew what is supposed to be a bicycle. I can't tell if this drawing is really good or really bad. I'm going to go with bad, I don't know where the handlebars are. For a recovery compass, I got innovation campus. I drew a picture of what I think is a school, I'm not really sure, I dropped out. Don't do that by the way kids, I don't want any parents telling me you dropped out of school. I translated a turtle egg and got I'm sick, so I turned the turtle egg green to make it look sick. And then I made a warped fungus on a stick and got mushrooms grow on trees. So I drew a tree and then I added some red and brown spots to look like mushrooms in a tree. Weird how I'm able to use a tree to control a strider. I made a scoot as a book with a turtle skin cover, and then I made bricks as cream, and then I tried to make a brain out of clay, and I also turned paper into the letter A. This kind of reminds me of something from another video, I'm not sure what. For glowstone dust, I got city, so I added some sky, drew a bunch of buildings, and then I put some yellow windows on them. I wonder if this city is powered by glowstone. Next, I made an ink sack and a glow ink sack. For the ink sack, I got I hid, so I drew somebody hiding behind a desk, and then for the glowing sack, I got a long black bag, so I made a long black bag with a golden handle on the top. Now it's time to translate every die. I'm actually too lazy to do that, so I only translated purple. And it gave me except this. I decided to color the purple die every die color in the game except for purple. See that? Now I killed every bird with one stone. You can't really tell which color is which, though. For cocoa beans, I got soon, so I made a picture from a video that I'm making soon. You can't really tell what's going on. It's a little undetailed. And for pumpkin seeds, I got clocks, so I drew a very bad clock. Just ignore the dots that are supposed to be numbers. There are definitely 12, and they are all in the right spot. Now it's time for me to translate some diamond armor. Head. Yeah, that's where the helmet goes. I ended up drawing a messed up looking Bruh. face, and for the actual helmet, I copied it on the front and added some hair on all the other sides. Honestly, I think this helmet looks really good. There is nothing wrong with it. Next, let's do a chest plate. I don't know why it keeps giving me body parts. I decided to just draw an arm because that's what it said. I then copied the arm over top of the chest plate and made absolutely no effort to make it fit. Even though I did that, I somehow got the arms in the right place. Not really sure why they're so big though. Next, I made the leggings and I got rubber. I could have colored the pants rubber color, but instead I turned it into a rubber duck because I'm a duck. I then drew a duck's face in a questionable area of the pants and colored the rest yellow. These are the pants in game, let me know if you would cough. For the boots, I got boat, so I literally just copy pasted a boat on top of the boots. I then made the actual boots boat colored. This is probably the most normal piece of armor I made, even though it shows up as a boat in my inventory. The shield is kind of armor, so I translated the shield. This is a mystery. Because it's a mystery, I just deleted the shield texture completely. It turns out you can't delete textures though, and it just made the shield all black. Alright, now that I've made the shield, I have a full armor set. Guys, let me know if you would wear this. Next, I'm going to be translating some ores. I am a tree. I drew a tree body and added some leaves on top, and then I gave it a smiley face because the tree is alive. Next, I translated an emerald. Monagan? Monagon? 
I don't know what that is. Apparently, Monaghan is a place in Ireland, so I drew a four-leaf clover because that's Irish or something. Guys, never let me draw a clover again. For iron, I got iron pot, so I just drew a pot, which basically looks like a big bucket, so I added some handles on the side so you can tell the difference. Next, I made gold, and I got turned down. I didn't know what to do for this one, so I just made a road sign, but put a down arrow instead. I don't know what roads you can turn down on, but that's not my problem. Next, I translated a netherite ingot, which isn't technically an ore, but it's an ingot, so whatever. I got bad netherite, so I gave it an arm holding a knife with an unspecified red liquid on it, and then I gave him two angry eyes with an upside down smile. After that, I decided to start a hardcore series. Okay guys, so I did some mining off camera, now I think it's time to build a house. Yo, edit this part out. Alright, now that the house is done, we're going to build a giant ring of biomes around it. I also translated some other ores, so here are those quickly. This is a copper ingot as a suitcase. This is redstone as blackstone. This is lapis as onyx stone. Okay, I think I made the wrong type of onyx. This is Japanese coal. And finally, this is amethyst as a person. Also, I know amethyst isn't an ore, I just thought it fit here. Now that we've translated some ores, we need something to mine them with, so let's make some tools. Okay, we got certify. I decided to draw one of those certificates that they give out at school for good grades or something, and then I added this line which is the text, and I put one of those sticker things in the corner. It kinda looks like I'm holding a hammer. Honestly, I'm surprised my pickaxe still works now that it's made out of paper. Next, I did the sword. Okay, we got sword, but big. For this one, I decided to make a really fat sword because I didn't really know what else to do. Guys, rate my sword from 1 to 10. You'd think you would do more damage because it's bigger. I give it a 0. Next, I translated the axe, and it just translated to ah. For this one, I wanted to make the axe yelling, so I added a mouth on the front, and then I gave the axe a large tongue, and finally I gave it an eye, which has nothing to do with yelling, I just wanted to do it. I can understand why the axe is yelling, I would be too if someone kept slamming me against a tree. For the shovel, I got spade, and a shovel is a spade, so I made the thing from the cards instead. Okay, this looks terrible. Instead of adding it to the top of the shovel, I just drew the spade instead, and it ended up looking much better. This thing would actually look kind of cool if it was a weapon, but it's just a shovel, so it's useless to me. Next, I transferred the hoe. Okay, I got Adam's hat. Who is Adam? I looked up Adam's hat and found someone wearing a yellow hat, so I tried to make a yellow hat, but it was hard because tools are usually made sideways. The only reason this looks like a hat Bruh. is because I know it's a hat. I am also not Adam, so I have to throw this away. I'm not allowed to have it. Next, I made some things that are technically tools. For the bow, I got plastic bags, so I made a plastic bag. That's it. Next, I did a crossbow and it said rainbow, so I added a rainbow gradient over the crossbow five times for all the phases. The crossbow looked normal when I shot it, but I can't say the same for the regular bow. For flint and steel, I got stone and iron, and that is basically what flint and steel is, so I decided to replace the flint with a stone block and the steel with an iron ingot to literally make it stone and iron. For shears, I ended up getting there for. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just turned the shears into a mouth and gave it a tongue and one angry eye. The reason I did this was because people might say therefore in an argument, so he's meant to look like he's arguing. Now for the final tool, I made a fishing rod and I got Midan? Midan? I couldn't figure out what my Dan meant, so I looked it up and saw this picture from a restaurant, so I decided to make the plate with the food on it. I even made it so when I cast the fishing rod, the plate empties. Bruh. Isn't that cool? For the next category, we're going to be translating some foods. First, I did steak, and I got meat. I'm pretty sure steak is meat, so I decided to color it a weird color and add a question mark so it's mystery meat instead. Would you eat this? It kinda just looks like bread with a question mark. Next, I translated an apple, and I got lake. I added a big pool of water, and then I drew this boat with a big red flag in the middle. I will not be taste testing this one because my mom told me not to drink the lake water when I was younger. For chicken I got you cannot so I just put a big red x over the chicken meaning I can no longer eat it. Next I translated bread and I got a piece of bread so I turned it into a slice of bread and put a nice patch of butter in the top corner. For cake I got pockets so I made the cake into the shape of pants and then I gave it two pockets. I kind of forgot that cake is a block, so really the only one I can eat is a slice of bread. It tastes really good, the yellow part really gives it flavor. Next I made a cookie and I got dirt, so I just cut the shape of a cookie out of dirt. My mom also told me not to eat dirt, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's in the shape of a cookie. For the golden carrot, I got a golden beginning, so I made a certificate again because that was the first thing I made in this video. Now for the final food item, I translated the golden apple. Okay, we got liver. I decided to just draw a liver, which is somehow the most normal food out of all of these. Alright, liver taste test. In game, not actually. I would never eat that. Wow, it actually gives me a lot of potion effects. Maybe the liver king was right. 
Alright, now that I've done some foods, it's time to translate a bunch of random items. The first item is the totem, which translated to down the totem pole. For this one, I just made a totem pole, which was kind of hard to do when it's this small. But it doesn't look that bad when you hold it or when you die, so that's cool. Next, I translated the ender pearl, and I got a Japanese word, which translated to shell. It turns out I have no idea how to draw a shell, and I'm not even sure if I got the color right, because I was thinking of the Bruh. gas station. For the eye of ender, I got I do not know, so I cut the shape of a question mark out of the original texture. This this is how it looks when I throw both of these if you wanted to know. For egg I got in bed, so I drew a red minecraft bed around the egg as if it was sleeping. This kinda looks like one of those egg drop projects, so let's see if it works. Nope, the egg still broke. Next I made a snowball and I got viburnum, which apparently is a plant that looks like this. I drew some leaves around it and then turned it yellow to match the little white things on the plant. Next I made an arrow and it didn't seem too happy with me so I just drew an angry face. For a bucket it translated to 2 with a quotation mark which sounds the same as the number so I copy pasted another bucket beside it so there was 2 buckets. Next I made the water bucket and I got a glass of water so I drew a wine glass around the water and added a little spill on top because it was overflowing. Finally I translated a lava bucket and got room so I decided to make a 2D picture of the back rooms. Placing the back rooms on the ground and having it turn into two buckets looks quite interesting, but honestly I kind of like the back rooms art. Not the buckets though, this sucks. For the next category, I decided to make some items that come from the nether in the end. First, I translated nether wart. Okay. I don't know who was released, but it doesn't sound good, so I drew some iron bars around the nether wart and made the ones in the middle look like they were broken and the nether wart is escaping. Next, I made a blaze rod and got this. I decided to make a night sky with some thumbnail colored grass in the bottom, and then I added some stars, and finally I added the sun instead of the moon. For the gas tier I got, there is nothing wrong with yelling. Why are these so scary all of a sudden? I drew a man with an exclamation mark coming out of his mouth to show that he's yelling, and then I put a green check mark over it, showing that it's okay. Next, I made a potion and got house or tent. It's nice that it's giving me options. I decided to just make a little house, and I gave it a door with two windows which looked like eyes and a mouth. Great, now you can't tell what any of the potions are without reading them. Also, I like how the man yelling is in the top left. It's a true work of art. I made a few more nether items but don't feel like showing them, so here's a nether brick as a name tag with a cool and original name on it. Here's a netherite scrap as low sodium. Next we have quartz as a low res emoji holding up a thank you heart. And finally we have a fire charge pointing at you. Now that we've done the nether, it's time to do the end, and there aren't that many items in the end, so first I made a chorus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll that one. That's better. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just colored it purple because product color, I guess. Next, I made an elytra and got little wing. For this one, I just made one of the wings smaller. And I made both of them small on the model because it turns out you can't edit the wings separately. Next, I did dragon's breath and I got this is a dangerous city. Apparently, Tijuana is the most dangerous city in the world, so I'm going to draw a picture of it. First I added a road in the bottom corner, and then I added this arch and a couple of palm trees. After that I added some buildings behind them, and finally I added some water and some sky in the sky. Next I made some items you find when you make a new world. Okay, we got I will plan. I made the stick smaller, drew a piece of paper, and then I added this arm to make it look like it's writing a plan. I thought it would look better in game, but it doesn't. If you spawn near an ocean, you usually make a boat, so let's do a boat. My car. I don't have a car, so I decided to make my dream car instead. I drew the body, added a spot for the window, and then I gave him his eyes, added some yellow spots, and finally I drew his tires. ka -chow. That was him, not me. In a new world, you usually steal wheat from villagers, so I translated wheat. I don't- I don't know what that is. Apparently that word means health research, so I drew a heart. Next I did a carrot. I got go to school, so I drew a picture of someone's mom yelling at them to go to school. This part is supposed to be an arm, by the way. Also, I am eating someone's mom. Books are usually found in villages, so I translated a book. Okay, we got to reduce. They always tell you to reduce, reuse, and recycle, so for this one I decided to draw the recycling sign. Okay, maybe I should have done something else. What is this? For seeds, I got the enemy, and the enemy of seeds is probably fire, so I drew some fire. Actually, it doesn't seem to be burning them, so I guess it's fine. Never mind, that was the wrong fire. I also ended up making raw chicken, and I got chicken, so I just drew a real chicken, and then I made a sapling, and I got frog, so I drew a bright green frog. I didn't know this is what they meant when I ordered the full chicken. Also, this is the new sapling. Hopefully, it's not poisonous. For the next category, I made some tools. Okay, we got the knife. All I did was make the sword smaller, turning it into a knife. It's funny because this pack now has the biggest sword and the smallest sword. Now let's make the pickaxe. The chicken is ready. I already made a chicken for raw chicken, so I tried to turn the pickaxe into a chicken. 
I drew a beak, added the red thing which I think is called the goiter, and then I gave it some eyes and colored it white. Finally I drew some wings and then I gave it some goofy looking feet. Who knew that chickens were so good for mining? Whoops I burned the diamonds. Next I made the axe. I got x as a binary number so I drew a light pink x and then I gave it some things on the top and finally I added his face. It's alphabet lore letter x if you couldn't tell. For shovel I got iron rings so I turned the top part of the shovel into a ring like this. I'm pretty sure this defeats the purpose of a shovel because all the dirt would just go through the hole, but whatever. Now let's make the hoe. Okay, we got steel shoes. I copy pasted iron boots on top of the hoe and then I changed them a little bit to make them look cool. I also made a couple things that are technically tools. Here's the trident as a ship. Here's the spyglass as me. And for the carrot on a stick, I got remembered. So I made a subscribe oh button in case you forgot to subscribe. The pig is literally chasing me to do it. You have to. Now it's time to make some random items. Listen to the recording. Okay then. Next let's do the heart of the sea, then I walked. I drew some legs under the heart of the sea and then I gave it some red shoes to make it look like it's walking. Next I did a goat horn and I got this is not the end. I drew some end stone, then I added some end pillars and finally I filled in the sky and added a big red X over it because this is not the end. Next let's do the echo shard. This is salt. I drew a ziploc bag and filled it with what is obviously salt, just like what it says. Wait, why are the cops outside? What did I do? I did a honeycomb and got there was no one there, so I added a floor and a wall, drew a table, and then I put this banner thing and added some confetti. This is a picture of one of my birthday parties when I was a kid. <laughs> Next I made horse armor and I got search now. I decided to just draw the search thing that shows up on Google, but it doesn't really look like it. For the nether star I got not life, and the opposite of life is death, so I drew the grim reaper because he is death. This is supposed to be the scythe if you couldn't tell. For firework rockets I got a sign, so I drew a brown stick, added a wooden sign and then I put some black lines on it which is supposed to be text. I also had to check if a sign shot up in the air and I'm happy to say that it does. I made sugar and I got along the Sawyer River. Apparently this is the Sawyer River so I drew some water then I added some trees and finally I added some sky in the sky. Do you think this looks like the picture? I don't. Next I made a minecart. His name is Football. That's kind of a weird name. I drew a football and gave him a face because he's alive. I also don't really know how to model this one in game so here you go. For a saddle, I got Weedza and Janotsky. Apparently, this means knowledge and skills, so I made a light bulb because that is usually associated with knowledge. It's funny because I know that. Okay, it really isn't. Now that I finished making random items, it's time to make some armor. Metal shoes. Iron boots are already metal shoes, so I just made them a bit darker so they don't look like iron. Next, let's do the pants. Okay, we got iron bones. I drew some white bones over top of the pants, and then I added some darker ones in the back to give it some detail. Next, I made a chest plate. We got creates a sample. For this one, I wanted to make a Costco sample, so I drew a plate in the middle, and then I drew some mystery orange food on top of it. Unfortunately, I got caught laughing though and the sample was actually a Burger King hot dog. For the helmet I got a metal box so I made the helmet into the shape of a box and then I added a line in the middle to make it look like a chest. This is what each individual armor piece looks like in game and this is all of them together. Let me know which one looks worse, the iron armor or the diamond. Now it's time to make some food items. First we'll make a pork chop. I got country so I drew a Canadian flag cause I'm from Canada. We'll just ignore the maple leaf, it looks fine. Next I made mushroom soup. Okay we got mushroom juice. I drew a white juice box, added a yellow straw at the top, and then I drew a picture of a mushroom in the middle. I don't know who would drink mushroom juice, but do what you want, I guess. Since I made soup, I decided to make a bowl, and I got It Suits You, so I drew a black suit, and then I added a red tie on the front. Because I made the bowl, it looks like I have to drink the mushroom juice now. Now it's time to make a honey bottle. Pots with honey. I made a big pot and filled it with honey, and then I made it drip a little bit on the side. Next I made pumpkin pie, and I got a pumpkin, so I drew a pumpkin, that's it. For rotten flesh, I got a bad feeling, so I decided to make my own custom emoji. I added some eyes and some eyebrows, and then I made a weird looking mouth. After that, I decided to make the emoji look more green instead, and then I added some red cheeks for detail. This emoji looks really weird, so I wouldn't eat it. It's also rotten flesh, so I wouldn't eat it anyway. Next I made a spider eye and I got spider, so I just made a spider. Would you rather eat a whole spider or a spider sized spider eye? I hope neither of them poison you in real life. For melon slice I got melon color, so I just, yeah. Next I made a poisonous potato and I got they poison the potatoes. I made the potato smaller and then I drew someone in an astronaut suit which is supposed to be a hazmat suit and then I made them poisoning a potato. Milk is kind of a food so I 
translated milk. I got a glass of milk, so I drew a blue glass, filled it with milk, and then I made it overflowing on the side because I always do that. Because I did the milk bucket, I decided to translate some other buckets as well. Here is powdered snow as touching grass. Here is a pufferfish bucket as a glass of water. This is a salmon bucket as salmon cake. And this is a tropical fish bucket as food and fish. The thing on the bottom is food, if that's unclear. The next bucket I did was a cod bucket and I got promise. I heard you promise to press the subscribe button, so I made the subscribe- Next I made the axolotl bucket as gold fishing, and this is the tadpole bucket as candy corn. Now it's time to make some cave things. First, let's do raw iron. Will be discussed. Period. I drew a face with a mouth open and a tongue to show they are discussing something. After that, I added a weird looking eye. Minecraft really changed the caving experience in 1.20. I am burning realistic Pac-Man right now, this is crazy. Next, I made raw copper and I got every time. I drew a clock and then tried to make it pointing at every hour, but that was impossible to do in 16x, so it kinda looks like some kind of anime right. item. Next, I did raw gold and got good news. I drew a newspaper and then I put a check mark over it, confirming that it's good news. For a gold nugget, I got a million gold, so I made the nugget smaller and then copy pasted it everywhere. After that, I made an iron nugget and got money, so I drew a really green dollar bill and then I became rich in Minecraft, ironically with the two worst materials. Next, I made charcoal and got chat with, so I made a chat bubble. And then I did flint and got you can, so I drew a check mark over the flint showing that you can. For the next category, I want to do some mob drops, so first I did string. Okay, we got equivalent. Yarn is kind of like the equivalent of string so I made a ball of yarn. The crafting recipe for wool actually makes a lot more sense now. For gunpowder, I also got money, so I rerolled and got still no money. I just wrote zero dollars on a white background because I didn't know what to do. Next, I did a feather and got the water tank is full, so I drew a water tank and made it full. After that, I did leather and got during the summer. I colored the sky blue, added some thumbnail glass, made a tree, and then I added the sun and some clouds. Next, let's do a bone. Out of class. I drew a floor and a wall, added a desk and a whiteboard, and then I drew a person leaving the class. Next, I did rabbit hide and got a rabbit was born. Kind of the opposite happened, actually. I tried my best to draw a rabbit, and it actually ended up looking kind of good. Now, when you kill a rabbit, you just get a rabbit. You also get a chicken when you kill a chicken, so that's cool. I did a slime ball and got a little tar goes a long way so i found a picture of a road and then i cut the shape of a slime ball out of it to make a tar ball i did magma cream and i got you think about it i thought about it for a while and i decided to draw a brain 